I'm sorry, but there's no reason I can't talk to you guys while I'm, while I'm adjusting stuff. Hello! Hello! What a greeting. Ah! I did it with Um, um! Thank you for the good Um! Magnificent! Your name cuts off! Okay, okay, um... Uh, what's a good title? What's a good title? Um... Um... Interrogations... Gone wrong? Maybe? That's kind of generic. How about something like, um... Detectives... Lose their cool. Detective lose control? Um... Hmm... Most professional streamer ever! I feel like gone wrong is like the most cliche. How not to talk to the police. How not to talk... ...to... ...the police. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, and then, and then we need, the thumbnail's still not done, um, oh man, oh man, I get, I, I, I've been like overthinking, I've been like overthinking this thumbnail, cause I feel weird like using real people for it, cause like, Is real people, and I don't, I don't want to like the word AI. I think I found somebody else's AI image. I shall use. Um, man, man, crazy how much oversleeping throws you off. Well, usually I cut it pretty close, right? Like usually, usually, I don't want to say usually, but like usually when I oversleep, it's like. Usually oversleep, but what I do, it's like it's like within thirty minutes still upstream because like my alarm is usually thirty minutes before the end of stream, or not before the end. Before the ah, you know what? You guys want to hear something? It's so goddamn hot outside. It's so fucking hot outside, chat. Okay. Okay, I've got, I've got the thumbnail. I'm not gonna, usually I do like, I, I upscale it with AI and stuff to make it like a little bit more clean. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say fuck it, and we're just gonna use a lower quality thumbnail today. Just so we have something. Just so we have something. This is a unique experience, talking to you guys while making like a thumbnail and stuff, and... Going live with my default thumbnail. Then you'll see everything about doors. You say bro broken clock is right twice a day, but Pipkin Pippa is late twice a day. Don't stress so much. Keep it worth it. I hope you guys are rest. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shit. I'm not logged in. On um, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I can't change live stream thumbnails from my phone, which is so annoying. So, I have to... Hold on. I'll upload it to Google Drive and then I'll upload. It's so annoying. Fun fact, you can't, like, the fucking YouTube app, you can't control, like, anything through it, man. I can't, like, I can't, like, set a waiting room on my, on my phone. I can't, um, edit streams on my phone. I can't end streams on my phone. I can't do any of that. I kind of can if I if I manipulate it a bit with um by like logging into the website like on the phone browser and then um what was I saying? Ah My Lucy then for Lars Texas is currently over Oh hold on I need it Close out all these tabs. Wah! Okay. No, stop it. Stop it! Okay. <gasps> Texas is over a 
100 Fahrenheit, about 40 Celsius, but losers in my AC is broken because it can't keep up. We're dying. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Make a slice strap and come pee pee pee. It's been so hot here that people's ACs are crapping out on them. Here's a little thing for the 15,000! You know what? Our fans in Korea! Oh, very few but very loyal and we'll call you Chicken Pizza! Right, Pipkin Pippa, the Chicken Pizza! What do you mean the Chicken Pizza?! What do you mean the Chicken Pizza?! I was just looking at Bon Hong Toki's channel again today. I think, is that where, is that where probably the bulk of my Korean viewers come from? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's crazy to think I have I have viewers in Korea. Um, I, well, it's kind of crazy to think I have viewers anywhere that's not in America. But <laughs> with how with how aggressively American my content can be. But um, chicken pizza. Uh, tipsy kitty thing, Dolores. I'm temporarily laid off, so time is irrelevant. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean temporarily laid off? Okay, what well, video recommendations you guys have? Slow dogs and Dolores. It was 94 degrees today. I live in CT. It is pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chicken pizza. What the fuck? I'm currently eating my toenails. That's not a video recommendation. Lord Miles Travel Bids. He has a video about Brazil Snake Island. We're doing... We're doing interrogations. Not... <laughs> Also, do you guys think Lord Miles is dead? The people close to him have said that he is definitely very much alive. But he made that post on Twitter where, where he was like, I am definitely very much alive and the Taliban are treating me like a god. And that's sacrilegious. Treating me like a prince. You know? You know? Did you guys see that Twitter thread? It's like, hmm. And no picture of him. No picture of him. There was an old picture that got reposted. That's it, then gonna be beep 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 beep. But like, what was what would be the point of like his friends lying and saying he's alive? Cause he is dead, dead. I guess maybe not to cause international incident. Maybe not to cause investigations. When the detectives realize the suspect is dying, what the hell? What? No. The detective is dying. What the hell is this? You've seen that one? I've not heard of that one. Um. Hold on. I was thinking we could we could check out like the newest ones and stuff, but all the new ones are like multiple hours long. I was doing good PR for them, and they kill him. I'm totally thinking of my lord, Lord Miles. Was, ha, has that British explorer Riz? Oh no, please, Mr. Taliban, don't kill me. I'm too sexy. Uh, some kind of joke, I think, my lord. You overslept till night. Your sleep schedule is horrific. Anyway, I really all that winter is ice cold. This year, I despise the heat. Mm-hmm. Good to see the tired. Thank you. And the lot total thing, completely. Imagine my power bill with this Texas heat. I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting distracted. Hold on. Hold on. I need to put the video on screen. I'm so late. I'm so late. Let's see here. This is... This is fine. Question mark? Why is it so small? Why is it like... I guess it's just... It just feels small. Because of, um... Like, it's so blurry. I'll put this in the corner here. There we go. Like, that's too a lot! Shut up! Uh, Pipsy Kitty, thank you for the five dollars. My job said they don't have work for us for four months, so they're at least paying for our health insurance. Oh, well, that's nice of them. How's there? I think Dolores, Legends of Death. Oh, Legend of Jeff! That's the, that's the guy who he, like... Oh, my God. Hold on. Okay, we'll watch this one in a second. I want to show you guys Legend of Jeff. Legend of Jeff is fucking legendary. Believe it or not. Legend of Jeff. Oh, man. Oh, this one's crazy. This is how you should talk to police. Under arrest. For now. 
I'm under arrest. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything, but before I talk, before I explain myself to you, that's kind of quiet. Before you, we talk to each other, I need to read your rights, okay? What am I under arrest for? Well, like I said, I need to read your rights first. Obviously, the charge. This, this, this clip. It's not a clip. It's a 13 minute long video. But this shit is fucking legendary, chat. Uh, so Brass is saying from Lori's people, what are your thoughts on snatching a cop's pew pew with a dino grabber? I don't think they would appreciate that. I don't think you should do that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someday, maybe someday I'll reach out to Donut Operator and, and, and I can, maybe I can ask him that. Um, he follows me on Twitter, but I'm too, I'm too cowardly. I'm too cowardly. Uh, ah, yes, my most favorite of creators, both late in presenting us with questionable content. God, I love it here. The wit. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. I'm sure they love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. I'm under arrest for robbery. You are, but let me read your rights real quick, okay? And then I'll explain it all to you. Is that uh, okay? No, thank you, Dolores. Let me do that real fast. Hello, hope you're having a good night. Thank you, thank you. Can you read with me? Just read in your head, okay? Before we ask you any questions, you must sure understand what your rights are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. Does that make sense? I didn't know that if they don't tell you this, um, whatever they ask you is actually, like, not admissible in court. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know? They- they can actually get in trouble if they don't- if they don't read you this. Uh, unwanted sapling! They're coming up with pee, pee you shit talker! Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, varies by jurisdiction. Varies by jurisdiction. Okay, I didn't know that- but that makes sense. A lot of things, a lot of things vary. Uh, tells us anything. A 333 snack and plushy check! Well, I still have the Brazilian snacks on my desk. I actually, I kept, I keep eating these biz, these little biz biscuits. They're fucking delicious. I started dipping them in my coffee. Fucking good. If you didn't, if you didn't catch it yesterday, I just, um, I had to trim out a section of the bod for it to be able to go back up, but the bod is now back up. I had a collab with Abby Cadabra. Um, talked about Brazil stuff and she sent me a bunch of Brazilian snacks and some were very good, others were very moldy. <laughs> have you been tased before, Pippa? No, I have not. No, I have not. Full wad available in mega folder. Nice, nice. Thank you. Uh, Captain Hat, thank you, Big Been nearly a half a year since I joked about Donut Operator Club, and now it's closer to happening than ever. Uh, Cannibal Small Causing, where well, it does not vary by jurisdiction. They always have to read rights before your interrogation. I'm not sure. Titan Gear, thank you, Dolores. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, account active, thank you, Dolores. Become a member, still on sub, absolute chat. I feel like they would have to. I feel like, I feel like... But then, it's like... There's probably, there's probably, like, different, I guess, like, qualifiers? Perhaps, like, in some jurisdictions, perhaps they have to have, like, proof of it. Like, like, during interrogations and stuff, they have it recorded or something? I don't know. It has to be, like, provable. It's like, if they can't prove that they read you your rights, because nowadays they have body cam and stuff, you know? And like, who's, whose word are they gonna believe? If you're like, oh, well, he didn't read me my rights. I don't know. CK Netling, for those local rapid researchers had to talk to cops after murdering her husband! No plus! Shut up! Mark is realizing with the boys. Miranda v. Arizona is the case it originates from. Mm. You've probably heard these before, haven't you? Does that make sense? Do you understand your rights? He's thinking. Your rights, Jeff? He's thinking about them. Yes or no? Do you understand? He's thinking! Do you understand what I read you? Do you comprehend what I read you? <laughs> Waste his time! Fuck him! I'm just here to talk to you and figure out what happened and move you on out of here at least some of I do not let anything about dollars. Do you understand the rights I read to you? But it depends on if the questions are likely to elicit an incriminating response. If so, they have to Mirandize. If not, they don't have to. If you got something that says you didn't do this robbery, this is your chance to talk to us. But anything can incriminate you. You see, thing, dollars. Good job. When playing Rockstar's uh, Manhunt, well, talk about Maybe. You look like the prick. <laughs> this is Jeff. Jeff, Jeff is, is a heroin addict and has been for the last 14 <laughs> years. He is six foot five, weighs 153 pounds, and has now found oh himself in God. the unfortunate circumstance of being charged with armed robbery. This is in the state of Georgia, so if found guilty, yeah, they will render something. him the minimum term of 10 years without parole, up to the maximum term of life in prison. 
Jeff has been through the system multiple times over, and he will know that if indeed found guilty, his sentence will be considerably longer than the minimum 10 years due to his previous convictions. Jeff, you understand your rights, yes or no? Six foot five and 135 pounds. He's a crack addict. I'm, I'm not asking if you want to talk to me at this point. I just wanted to you understand. I'm a crack what? heroin. My so bad. I'm under arrest. Yes, you're under arrest. I'm getting back to the cell. <laughs> I don't talk to you, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. You wanted a coke? I brought him back. Oh, I have a coke. I have Coca Cola. You gonna mail pop it open or you need me to? Oh. Jeff is big. It's dehumanizing. They make him open it like a little. Like it's cruel. Oh, that take it to know the irony of the stream topic. There was a big fight at the gas station near me where the cops are rough some people up. Now they're trying to get. Now they're trying to protest. Wait, now they're trying to get protesters going at the police station today. Ooh. You know, I like cops when they're handling civil matters, like to the best of their ability. You know, when it's like, oh, this guy stole from me. Oh, okay. Well, we'll look into it for you. And then they actually, like, at least try. A lot of the times they don't try. See, Greeny, they were $5. You hear that chat? Pippa says Jeff is based for doing heroin, so go do heroin now! Now! You hated civil calls and pen. You were a cop? Wait, I think you said this last time. <laughs> they never look into it. They never look into it. Kate gets anything with the $2. Pippa, when she's arrested? I always... I would. Okay, listen. Listen, I would never actually do it, but when I was younger, with how many times, like, my family got shit stolen from them, and, like, it would just keep racking up, like, more expensive shit as well, I kind of just, like, as a kid, I was like, man. All I'm saying is if I ever get fired or whatever, right, like, 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 I had these lofty dreams of going to college and getting a nice job, and I was like, man, if for some reason that doesn't work out, I should just steal shit. Like, I should just- I, sh I should just steal stuff. Like, even with, like, video evidence of people stealing stuff, like, the cops just do not bother. I should, like... Listen, man, I could start a business of, like, stealing statues out of people's yards, right? Because it's like, not saying I would do it, but it's like, that's an untapped market. Become somewhat of a cult figure in the domain of interrogation footage. <laughs> his recognition <laughs> seems to have grown through his own popularity, as it. opposed to the notoriety of his crimes, like most others. Conveying the exact reasoning behind this can be tricky, as the interest in this character will no doubt vary by the individual. Yet we found the most collective reason to be to me. explained through a single pop culture reference, the anti-hero. While the concept is timeless, the actual term was created through the realm of modern cinema. There's a diverse number mm. of characters passing through the decades that fit the criteria. Yet perhaps the most textbook I love example... Bad Santa. I didn't know Bad Santa is like a controversial film. Like a lot of people fucking hate Bad Santa. I didn't know. I thought it was such a good movie. I thought it was like, I thought it was like a comedy classic. I didn't know so many people fucking hate it. Uh, Glowling Dolores, in the words of Daddy Jim, am I being detained? Could be the protagonist from the Bill 2003 Bob feature, yep. Bad Santa. A middle-aged man simply known as Willie. This is a character that lies, cheats, steals, swears at children, drinks an inconceivable amount of alcohol, and is generally extremely unpleasant to He's every so single based. person he comes across. Yeah, Hold on, uh, Yoga Sutsuki, thank you for the $69! Thank you, thank you, thank you, just be glad you were... Never invested in domestic terror simply by writing something on a calculator? Been there, done that! 3 out of 10, can I recommend- What the fuck did you write on that calculator? 9-11 times 2? You're Jimmy and Santa. Oh, fucking right. Let's tell him what you want for Christmas. I'm on my fucking lunch break, okay? On paper, this is an He's extremely so unlikable individual. No. Yet for some reason, we root for him while following his story. Anti-heroes are flawed, <laughs> as are we. Their moral complexity mirrors our own, and just like us, they are learning and growing as they move along the path of life. Their mistakes make us think of our mistakes, and perhaps the reason we root for their redemption is the reflection of ourselves rooting for our own. So you might be- This is my entire channel. Just me thinking to our Sigma male behavior! Oh, that's my entire channel too. 
curious <laughs> about the contrast between the anti-hero and the life. villain. One we embrace and relate to, while the other we despise and detach from. Both are driven by selfish motivations, yet our emotional response differs between them. The re I don't know, I don't know, Miss Crazy didn't come baby. I feel for Jimmy, let the poor man eat. I feel like, I feel like villains. I don't, I don't know. This is a stupid tangent to go on, but like... We still, we still can empathize and relate to, to villains. Right? It's just, it just, it just depends. Like, anti-heroes, it's more like, it's just because they're usually a protagonist. Or like, deuteragonist, right? Whereas the villain is planted firmly in the, like, the, they're the antagonist of a story. But you can still, you can still relate to them. Yeah, like Joker. Joker's not an anti-hero, he's straight up a villain. But we can still, uh, relate to him. What's the last thing on BBB? My brother and I get trash drunk to this movie every Christmas. I love it. Base. That's a base tradition. The reason for this, while not necessarily obvious, is a relatively simple formula. The anti-hero must have a glimmer of humanity alongside a noticeable vulnerability. This is what allows mm. the viewer to truly connect with the character. It allows us to forgive them when they are unethical, but admire them when they are noble. It allows them to be angry, cowardly, and greedy, but also... It lowers our fucking standards. So cheerful, brave, and empathetic. Who the fuck is Thurman? Is that you? Is your name Thurman? Yeah. <laughs> Thurman Merman? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. With relation to Jeff, while many of us can't relate to the feeling of being addicted to heroin it's good for movie. Well over watch a decade, it. we can certainly understand the feeling of sadness. While we may not be able to put ourselves directly in the shoes of an addict, you we can that. somewhat relate to the adversity that comes with it, not to mention the incredible magnitude of the situation he is going through in this video. I don't think I don't think anyone's empathizing with him because he's a heroin addict. I think it's I think people are just enjoying the fact that he Argues with the police in like a based way. Doesn't put up with their shit. Didn't say anything. Dolores, bad Santa is a classic saying otherwise is wrong. JC, think Dolores spend about two weeks separately at the ward. Two out of ten. Then they were dueling for Dolores. I heard Pippa takes back everything she said about Brazil. A bit still technically five dollars. How he responds to this very moment is quite literally the precursor to his entire future. <laughs> Casually he is at glossing a over the armed robbery. In life, where on one side is the possibility of hope, and on the other side is the outright guarantee of despair. The long-term path he goes down will be the consequences of the short-term choices he makes. All of. I'm sorry. I'm pausing so fucking much. I'm sorry, but can I be honest? Can I be honest and say I don't give a fuck if a if a heroin addict goes to jail? All right, I don't I don't fucking care if anybody goes to jail, right? It's like, listen, if you didn't do it, then I feel bad for you, right? Like that's that's the part that matters is if you did it or you did not. Like, if you're a fucking heroin addict, I don't care. Just the same way I don't care if you're, like, a fucking mother with three children going to jail. It's like, if you did something wrong, you did something wrong. D play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Uh, two speeds in the, the super chat. Wait. Heroin addict, damn, he's just like me. Wait, where did the- Oh, a uh, dead trending over the 690. Second that you are watching, please connect. The B2B agency that does not endorse the cool crime of theft which have to be judged and decided on while going through the early stages of heroin withdrawal. I need methadone. <laughs> methadone? Yeah, you, uh, you need that methadone? Yeah. I don't have any. Do you have medication for it? or I mean, a prescription for it? Or? Yeah. What do you need methadone for? Because I'm a fucking junkie and you guys, I can't get no methadone. I'm going to go through withdrawal here in a minute. You're going to go wait you shit on your ass. Phone? Don't get it. I get heroin. How long you been using heroin? Long time, buddy. What are you trying to talk to me about here? I'm drinking coke. Talk to you want to sit? Happened last night. Look, here's the deal. Either you're in a bad, bad set of circumstances, or you went and committed an armed robbery last night. Yeah, right? I'm in a shitty. Uh, wrong place at wrong time, obviously. I didn't commit no fucking arm robbery. All right, then let's talk about this. Let's, let's I don't, not have nothing, I don't talk to the police, man. I think it's in your best interest to. Man. It is never in your best interest to talk to the police. Literally never. If you didn't do it, you still should not talk to the police. They don't, they're not your friend. They're going to sit there and they're going to be like, oh... Well, we can just talk about this, you know? Like, if we made a mistake or something, then you can let us know. 
and then they'll use like any little thing you say to try and to try and manipulate the situation so they can put somebody behind bars. Say anything for those. I feel like the bad Santa commentary was overanalyzing and someone enjoying watching someone else be an a-hole to other a-holes. No, I don't. You're, you're yeah. so here. Okay. I've been through the system, buddy. I know how I know it works. I know you have. I know you have. You're yeah. not my friend. Bay. I'm not your friend. You're trying to fucking get me. Or you're no, trying I'm not to, trying to get all you. All you're trying to get is some fucking stupid ass fucking confession, and you're not going to get one. Jeff, I'm not going to get a confession well, out of you for nothing. Exactly, because I and didn't I'm do nothing. I'm not trying nothing. to get a confession out of you. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I ain't commit no armed robbery. And y'all ain't got no fucking evidence saying I did. Let me go. All you did is find me sitting in my buddy's house because my fucking buddy's dog's going to ape shit. I go outside. There are cops everywhere. And they spotlight me. They say, come here. I say, what's up? Mm. They search me. They ain't find nothing. What's let up? Let me read this. No. Okay. Yes. Because I'm not going to sign it. You don't have to sign it. But let me read it for you. Okay? I'm not signing nothing. You don't have to sign it. I wonder, I wonder if that's literally what happened, like they were, like the, the robbery was just in the area and he was just nearby so they just grabbed them. I've heard of that a lot. I've heard of, I heard of in general, a lot of cases where it's like, somebody doesn't even match the description but they were nearby. So the fucking police just grab them and it's like... I just, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Jenny, thank you for the lawyers. Pippa, would you be a good defense lawyer? You seem to be an expert on all the various forms of Glory's work. Asking for a friend, by the way. No, I would not. It sadly happens. It feels like it happens a lot. It's pretty common, yeah. He's a junkie. He probably did it. Don't they get paid off of arrest? I don't know how it works. The usual suspects? Especially if they're a known junkie? Let me read it. You already read it to me earlier. I know we- But there's a funny bit of an FBI agent who got pulled aside because he fit the description. What? He did. But I'm gonna read it to you again. Thanks for the coat. You're welcome. Before we ask any questions- He's a polite heroin addict! If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right- You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. Do you understand the rights I've explained to you? No. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what happened last night. FBI yeah, agent probably simple. did it, you're, probably. You're side of the story. I'm not talking to you. I'm warning you. Uh, all right. But where? This is what I don't understand. It was feels right. This is what I don't understand, Jeff. You were sitting there talking just like you were ready to sit here and tell me what happened last night, and then all of a sudden I read that to you, and you screw screwed. I ain't talking to you. I want a lawyer. I don't understand that. What what Cause changed? Because I, cause I, the... I told you what. I already told you what happened. You didn't. How didn't I? You didn't tell me what happened last night. How didn't but, I just tell you what happened? He now did you just tell him. Me and I can't talk to you because you asked for an well, attorney. Right. So, okay, that's fine. He's manipulating, Chad. He's like, oh, but you didn't tell me. If you would just talk to me, man is fucking to his face calling him a liar. But I will yeah, tell he you literally right now, just you're did. still on a hold for a robbery. I know. I don't know why I need a fucking lawyer because uh, obviously I didn't do nothing. And obviously, you guys know I didn't do nothing because I've been arrested for the same bullshit before, and you guys don't interview me this much. So. Listen, the last time when I actually did it, you didn't put half as much effort in. So now I know something's up. So, wham bam, thank you for the coat. Put me back in the cell. <laughs> What's that? Just Alright. I know we He's do this wrong. twice, but I can do it again every time, okay? So I ask you any questions, I gotta read your rights. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and sign there. Oh, I never posted there. a go live tweet. No, I'm not signing nothing. Okay, sign. you don't have to sign that. Does anybody even click go sign. live tweets? That's all I need is verbal yes? Yeah. Okay. So when's his coat gonna eh. be here? Or is that just a fairy tale? Ah. It's time to get there right now. What did I do? Watch the sword machine. Hold on, I broke it. There we go. Sorry. Uh, Great work. Shut up! I was just trying to make a cool live tweet. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> the awkward silence. I have enough evidence. Right as I go to post the armed robbery, okay. The tweet. But I keep pausing the tangent. You know, if, if you and then they're quiet while I'm doing something else. You need to give me your side of the story. 
I didn't do it. Yeah, Curling Dillers. Cringe Beta Cups versus Chad out the hell with it. Because I got a lot of evidence. I got a lot of physical evidence. Well, like what? Name the physical well, I don't need to, I, why? Get fucked! Why should I tell you that? I mean, you haven't been you haven't been helpful to me at all. Cause you don't, because I don't believe that you got any evidence. There, there, there's only a couple pieces of evidence I'm missing. What evidence do you have? I don't need to tell you that. Oh, okay. So fucking nothing. You have no evidence. Name him. What's that? Name him. Well, why do why I need to do that? <clears throat> you haven't helped me out at all. You give me a little bit, I give you a little bit. We go back and forth. I give if you give them a little bit, that implies that you're, you're directly incriminating, uh, incriminating yourself. Because that's all they want. That's all they want. Well, they're like, oh, well, if you help me, I'll help you. I just want to understand the situation. No, they don't. They just want more shit that they can that they can catalog and use use in trial. Who's on first? Think about dollars. The read method is explicitly designed to elicit a confession, whether you're guilty or not. Once they get you talking, it's over. True. True. If you want my piece of evidence, now give me a little something. No, no, anything I say here can and will be used against me. Sure, but anything you say here, I can also tell your your, your parole officer that you help me out. That doesn't mean dick. There's no way. I didn't do it. There's no way. How drunk were you? Were you drunk? No, I was pretty sober. So you're in your right mind. You remember everything about I don't want to keep right? pausing. So you couldn't have done something not remembered. You couldn't have gone and robbed the place not remembered. Is that a thing, though? Is that a thing? I'm curious. Can police actually talk to a parole officer and be like, Oh, well, we, we thought he did something, but he's been a very good boy. Does that, what would that even do? Is that, is that a thing? They can? But like, what would that do? Nothing? They talk to the prosecutor? They won't, though? I hate to say it, but he's kind of based. Just to scare him. Not much like you said. There ain't no way that would change anything. Okay. Fuck. So it's just bullshit. Okay. So you would remember if you robbed the place. Because yeah. I'm willing to go to the prosecutor, I'm willing to go to the parole officer, and say, this guy's a good guy, he helped me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I know you don't want to go back to jail, right? Back to prison? Well, fuck. It looks like I am, if, if and you're going to charge me with some bogus shit. You guys don't, I mean, what... What do you got, really, that I, I was at a buddy's house and I happened to come outside because you guys were fucking swarming the area and they which fucking... Door, which door did you come out of? I came out of the uh, front door. You know what? I'm not saying myself, man. No, I'm done, said something. Man. Fuck this. The only reason I came up here is to get a fucking Coke. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know. I don't know. I can't finish it. I got things to do. I didn't promise you that. I said we'd see what happens. Alright? Son of a bitch. This sick son of a bitch! I said, you haven't helped me out at all. Why should I help you out? I got you a soda. That's good enough. He's pouting. Jeff was released from custody just under 12 hours later. And that takes us to the final and perhaps the most important component of an anti hero. He find he he finds the cop's home address and he mails him a butterfinger. Conclusion, which unfortunately in this particular That's case the is unknown. The final outcome of this story will vary depending on the source. Some with a happy ending, others a cautionary tale. One legend has it that Jeff got clean soon after his release and now works in the corporate marketing team for Coca-Cola. While another Oh fuck off, there's no way states that he was picked up the day after for the same charge and is now facing down a 15-year sentence in Georgia State Okay, this one's a lot more likely. Prison. If we go by the Hollywood formula, an anti-hero's actions throughout the course of their life are so drastic and single-minded that they only ever lead to salvation or destruction, and their final decision is always dictated by what they have learned and how they have changed throughout the course of the story. The paradox here is that we don't even need the theme of imprisonment to mold the outcome of this particular story, as the theme of addiction is more than enough. Whether he goes to prison or not, Jeff will either manage to get clean and rebuild his life, or he won't. He is headed for salvation or destruction no matter what. I think and this that is single overthinking. concept can perhaps define Jeff as an anti-hero. His outcome is a mystery, but either way it goes, it most certainly conforms to the anti-hero's ending. This is a 
overthinking. He was just based for talking shit to the cop. Bingo, bingo, tingo, bingo, ding, the the most giga chat heroin addict ever. True and real. Um, Thomas Jefferson, thank you for your first super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the five dollars. Um. Okay, what else have you guys suggested? He was just a base junkie. Uh, what was the one about the FBI agent getting picked up for the wrong crime? Not wrong crime. But I guess... You know what? No, I stand by what I said. Audit the audit. It's by audit the audit. I... We watched the one where it's the... Um... Oh, fuck. What was the situation? It's... Um... I always like the one where the guy calls the cops on the ATF. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. You fit the description. Audit the audit. Audit the audit. Hold on, let's check. I used to binge this channel. And then Welcome it started being popular with streamers, and I was like, Oh, I was watching this before it was cool. Colloid Salving Name Dolores. Jeez, what is this English class SABS? Um... I'll type in... FBI? It's not an interrogation, but... Is it Deputy Arrest FBI After a Strange Meeting? Is it this? It's not an interrogation, it's a guy who got arrested and then released when they saw his badge. Tip him thing for the Lord's guy wasn't a heroin addict, he was a based as fuck addict! Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what, and the right and wrong. Oh, the Conference ATF was your first stream. This thing. episode covers FBI no, investigations. Lawrence, the question is, are you an anti-hero, Coconut? Public official. I do have a can of coke. Corruption, and comes to us from the Tallahassee Democrat. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the list? credit they deserve. I remember Before my dad telling me the story of my brother accidentally peeing on the roof of a cop Raycon car. For sponsoring this episode. What? I have been using the Raycon every day. No, you're not. Your order today. No, you don't. Was involved in a minor traffic accident in the small Gulf Coast town of Carabelle, nestled along the Florida Panhandle. Mrs. Bean left the scene of the accident and was subsequently issued a citation by Deputy Rolf Gordon of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Office. After the citation was sent to the courthouse, Mrs. Bean complained to the sheriff's office, who pulled the ticket for a Mrs. review. Bean. The prosecution then dismissed the charge, and the ticket was never entered into the clerk of court system. That's On December an 20th, name. Deputy Gordon received a call to his personal cell phone from an individual who identified himself as an FBI agent and requested that the deputy come to a nearby parking lot for a meeting. This sounds like this sounds like a way to get murdered. What the fuck? I could, uh, calling calling you on the phone to request a meeting in the parking lot. I am an FBI agent, a very real FBI agent. Meet me in the parking lot. The clacking of our doors. Jeff was free base. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that'll work. Did you run your body cam? I, I am now. He died because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special agent Adam. He looks like a glowy. The FBI. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with you meet me at the office. That's a... Like, it, it's just so weird. It's so weird. I guess, I guess, personally, because we, like, we just played parasocial, right? So, like... I don't know, I'm just remembering the cop being like, Oh, no, let's not talk in the police station, you'll be uncomfortable there. Like, why the fuck would you... What? I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. Cut off the recording device now. Yeah, he glows. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area. Sir. I believe him. That's all I need, Your Honor. Hey, TJ. This guy <laughs> just is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get involved with this. Let me get his tag number real oh, quick. Oh, this cop is so dead. It's going to be LKST. Five, seven. I half expected him to just start driving off. LKS T57. Trust me, I got a clipboard. Trust me, I'm yeah. corrupt with power. He's gonna get mad. He's so dead. Hey, where's no, this cop in the week? Lima, Kilo, Sierra. What was this cop saying? Tango name? five seven. I got seven oh three out here with me. I wonder. All right, well, he's he's leaving the area. I'm just gonna... Hold yeah, on. But, I guess, but... 
It's a blue Ford. Let's see here. Ford Taurus. Oh, this just links to the Tallahassee Democrat. So, I want. I want to. I want the original story. He says he does not give out business cards. I, yeah, I, don't, find... I don't believe this. No. There's something fishy with this right here. I want to know. I feel like I feel like if I find the cop's name and I look him up, he's going to be dead. This is FBI Special Agent Alexis Hatton, who traveled from Panama City to investigate the citation that Deputy Gordon had issued. Agent oh, Hatton Gordon. is part of an FBI team that has been investigating a number of cases of public corruption Gordon? in North Florida, which have led to numerous guilty pleas from government officials, including former Tallahassee City Commissioner Scott Maddox. Interestingly enough, Deputy Gordon later admits to the sheriff that it wasn't until Agent Hatton revealed to Deputy Gordon that he was the subject of a federal investigation that the deputy became suspicious. He told me I need to discuss some things with you about the Carabelle area. Are you working over here today? Right there, so he told me to meet him here. I came up. He said, can you, do you mind me sitting in my car with me real quick? He showed me, he flipped open his wallet and it showed credentials. It didn't show a ba he didn't show a badge, but showed... FBI mm -hmm. in his name. So I came in there and he goes, I need to discuss a, a ticket on a Maryland Bing that you wrote, which is a ticket that I wrote, yeah. but I actually rescinded it. Uh, I said, okay. Um, I said, do you mind if I go pull it up on my on my CAD so I can recall what's going on here because I know you can't tell me about it and I want to get it right. So I went in there. At the same time I'm pulling up the report, I called TJ. I said, hey, is this... Five, yeah. Yeah, should I be getting interviewed on the side of the road? Oh, I think I think he's still alive. I think I think he's still alive. Oh, what a miracle. Okay. Or should he be doing something else? And TJ says he needs to go through the front office and set up an interview time. According to the deputy, Agent Hatton's FBI credentials were legitimate enough for Deputy Gordon to get into the vehicle with him and sit dangerously close in the passenger seat, but suddenly became suspicious when the agent revealed that he was conducting an investigation into the deputy. Okay, I was half paying attention because I was trying to find out if the, if the glowy off this guy. So, hold on, hold on. Sorry. So they're investigating... A ticket. And... The FBI agent is saying the, the, the deputy? Is, is the subject of the investigation? And that's what made him, like, question his credentials? What SCP is this classified as? Oh, so the FBI agent got the ticket. Okay. Ah. He's got a radio, and he's got credentials. Uh, I feel we're trying to get him in trouble. 33, go ahead. Yeah, curling, but those two gay men argue about who has to wear the handcuffs tonight? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he told me to turn my body camera off because he, he didn't want that running. And uh, so now he's... Oh, he wrote a ticket to a woman who is connected. The ticket got disappeared, and the FBI is investigating. He's investigating the rescinded ticket to see if it's corruption. Why is he so weird about it? Why is he so fucking weird about it, man? No, he's still here. He's looking at me. Franklin, he's looking at me! He's looking at me with that stupid fence there, there it is. It's blank and full of fluoride. Now he's, Dark blue in color. now he's saying I'm trying to detain him. To I've never, I've never told you I was detaining you. That's on camera field. that you are staying here willingly, sir. 20, There's something just so magical about when, when different, when different fucking glowies have beef with each other. When different branches of glow are in a fucking illumination contest. Zell Rug, thank you for the $10 with a great past few weeks for my favorite VTubers. Just got back from the Lee X Pomo Club. Hit the, on the heels of you and Brilliant Club. Keep up the great work and great content. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? Glowy well, we on glowy action, this yeah. This is easy to come by. Yep. It just advises advanced wiring company. Do you work for a wiring thing company? Thing well, it's, it's currently 4 a.m. for me and I have school today. Okay. Cheers. Well, thank you, everybody, for a super chat and, and me, you, and I hope you have a good day at school like tomorrow. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? He said, yeah. Brother Malachi, think the three dollars. He said, "Yeah." But can the FBI detain people?
Like, legally speaking, anyways? No? Yes? I can't give you that information. Probably? Hi, Sandy. Can't tell me how he got my information. I don't think so. Hey, you are detained at this time, sir. 33 Franklin. I got one whiskey mic detained at this time. <laughs> They're both it using the radios. Agent Hatton may have had a legitimate reason for requesting such an informal meeting with Deputy Gordon. Later in the interaction, Agent Hatton insinuates that he may be involved in a grander investigation into the sheriff's office that extends beyond the deputy's citation while on the phone with his supervisor. Well, you can't call anybody in the PD because the PD is just here backing this guy up. It's Franklin County this uh... So you have to call the sheriff. Is a fucking idiot. Next Angeles Inc. Dolores on TV tropes they call that jurisdiction fiction. Friction. Ah. Like, does he not realize like how it's gonna look if you if you if you call some oh Jesus, the met the Ah the Marie, thank you for thank you for the toy can be me! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you for the toy can be peace! Um Um Fuck! What was I saying? God damn it! Oh, does he not realize like how it's gonna look if he if he calls a fucking cop over? He's like, yes, leave your police station. Come here, meet me in the parking lot. Turn your body cam off. I have a few questions to ask you. Like that's fucking weird, man. That's fucking weird. Does he really does he really think that's not gonna like, you know, raise some red flags? For the malcasting doors, I'm not detained. You're detained. No, you. No, you. They're literally villains, sounds appropriate. It's so fucking shady. He's just bad at his job. I think he's used to like intimidating people and didn't, and, or, or maybe used to dealing with like shitty people who are like, oh yes, I will turn my body cam footage off for $20. Fluffy moon cat thing or the $2. I love watching glowing on glowy friendly fire. The FBI is the primary federal agency responsible for investigating allegations regarding violations of federal civil rights statutes. These laws are designed to protect the civil rights of all persons, citizens and non-citizens alike, within U.S. territory. The FBI is also the lead federal agency for investigating color of law violations, which include acts carried out by government mm. officials operating both within and beyond the limits of their lawful authority. Given that the FBI- They actually do this? Okay. Follow chains and come to be. The Fed is outing his investigation to the whole sheriff's department by being sus to a low-rung deputy. Yeah. The FBI had been conducting numerous investigations into public officials in the North Florida area. It is very likely that Deputy Gordon is only a small piece of a much larger federal operation. Whether or not the deputies were within their authority to detain Agent Hatton is Standing debatable. And it would make for an interesting case if it were challenged in court. 17's on the way. Hey, I don't think this guy's legit, man. <laughs> Take my weapon off, okay? 26 Franklin, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put you in cuffs. Put the narrative for this call. That's something that? he's got to change. Okay, I'm claiming to be a federal agent. What the fuck is he doing? Is this an intimidation call? Is this an intimidation tactic? 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 Lieutenant Freddy, think I'm gonna be most of what the FBI does is keep tabs on domestic terrorists, investigate other government agencies. Okay, buddy, let's not go crazy here. Domestic terrorists? You mean when the FBI- Okay, you mean when, like, some fucking 16-year-old shoots up a high school after saying they're gonna do it, like, for a month on Facebook, and then the FBI is like, well, they were on our radar. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean by investigate domestic terrorists? Mmm. But yeah, what's he doing here? What's he doing here? I need to take my weapon off. No, you don't. You don't need to do fucking anything. Just stay in the fucking vehicle. What are you doing? It's so weird. His behavior is so fucking weird. It's reptilian. Are they, are they like... Do they have like a breeding project for reptilians? And they, and they pop them out and they spawn FBI agents with them? And they don't quite understand like human behavior? This is so weird. Eric Jones, I think of the 50 Mexicans. You can't lay a finger on me, cop. Cop turns off body camera. Uh, Jordy, I think you're the $2, so the FBI keeps tabs on the ATF. No. You do got, is it on? Do I have permission to take it off? No, you don't have permission okay. to take it off. Just hang tight right here. I'm not cuffing you. I'm not cuffing you. But you're being very uncooperative with me. 
I, you asked me to come up here, you called my personal cell phone number. Put your fucking arms down. What are you doing? Get back in the vehicle. What is he doing? Number. You, do, you can't tell me how you got it. Your vehicle's coming back to a wiring company, not the it's FBI. A overt vehicle. Okay. You Dude, get would mad? you like to see some registration? You get I would think he's just a schizophrenic. I'm getting, I'm getting, what's that guy's name? Chuck from, um, from Better Call Saul? Mad at me would because you, I turned my- Your vehicle doesn't have any registration. What's up with that? It's a covert vehicle. They can't track me. A body like camera. Nobody like can track me. You know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. Do you have identification? I surely do. I showed it to her. Would I, you like to see it, sir? That's fine. You don't have to keep your hands up. I'm just <laughs> trying to... <laughs> what the fuck is he doing with his hands? It's just so weird, Chad. He's just so weird. Figure out what's shot going on. out here. I don't want to be shot either. I'm going to call my... Shot, man! You guys are having a conversation. Just don't reach for your fucking gun, moron. Oh, the Merkel Hopper thing. Two lawyers. Everyone in the comments is siding with the FBI. By the way, are you serious? Asking an FBI agent, "How did you get my information?" is the wildest thing an officer can ask. Dude, that agent played those cops like a fiddle. First, he tells them to turn off the body cam in a weird way to reverse psychology him into keeping it on. Then stages a medical emergency so we can get... Medical emergency? So we can get access to the body cam right away? Genius? W what? Is this sarcasm? Spoilers! Yeah, we just got spoilers. FBI really is something. They're trained to manipulate situations. This is... Am I... Am I being gaslit? Yes, sir. Hi, Jim. Jacksonville, this is Special Agent Haddon. What would you need the body cam footage for? Yeah. It's fucking body cam footage. Like... You're there to, What? Why would you need body cam footage of your own fucking interaction? He wants it on record that he's unarmed in case the cop acts up? What the fuck? Do you have a driver's license on you, sir? He's refusing to give his 27 at this time, Franklin. He's armed. That's not his gun. That's his... Oh my fucking god, the crunch. Uh, this is his- this is his wallet. Anti annihilator thing to Norris. The narrator does chill for the FBI a little, but the comments glow in the dark. Any D thing for Norris. North Florida actually did have a lot of corruption in the local government. It's every local government. A radio. So you're forcing me to give you my driver's license? That's oh, I guess that was his radio. Just, just ask me to get it from right. you. That kind of doors. FBI agent uses advanced techniques. To give a kiss! Absolutely, yes, sir. This is so weird. Your body camera is still running, right? Yep. Good. What? I didn't think Nintendo was he has a gun on him, trying not to put his hand down towards it. The Fed is a weirdo, though. Well, yeah, you can inform the police, you know, like, hey, I have a weapon here. Um, I just want to make you aware. Um, it's located on my hip. What would you like me to do? And then, and then you explain your actions as you're doing them. You're like, okay, I'm gonna reach for my, um, my wallet. And you say that before you do it, by the way. He didn't think he has a gun on him and trying not to put his hand down toward it. The Fed is a weirdo though, trying to intimidate the manipulation. Feds want cam footage so the sheriff office can't overlook it. Oh, can't look over it. Am I misunderstanding something? Do the, do the sheriff's office not still get a copy of the body cam footage? This came out in 2020. Do they not have multiple copies of a file? Impersonating an officer in any capacity is a crime in most states, and there have been several documented cases of fake FBI agents attempting to infiltrate local police departments. Some of these cases involved highly elaborate schemes that lasted for long periods of time. Yeah, we're looking at the camera footage. So what would, what would the... Like, I don't understand what the point would be. Like, the FBI agent trying to get the body cam footage so the police can't look over it. Like, that doesn't make any sense. 
For example, in 2008, an FBI agent arrived in the town of Gerald, Missouri with a gun, badge, patrol car, and a telephone number for the officers to call to verify his identity. The agent worked with local authorities for months before a local reporter uncovered several complaints about the agent's conduct and ultimately revealed that he was not an FBI agent. The man had taken his name and task force title from the Eddie Murphy film Beverly Hills Cop. Oh my in fucking the god. Of working with the man, none of the officers <laughs> made the correlation. So there's at least a degree of merit to Deputy Gordon's suspicions. Because the deputies have detained Agent Hatton for suspicion of impersonating an officer, they are within their authority to identify the agent so long as the original detention is ruled valid. If the detention is ruled invalid, then the officers may be entitled to qualified immunity because of the unusual nature of the encounter, but that would ultimately be for a court to decide. Eventually, multiple supervisory officers arrive on the scene, and the decision is made to handcuff Agent Hatton and place him in the back of a patrol car. Okay, I'm gonna give the FBI agent some benefit of the doubt, I guess. Is it? Okay, okay, so I can understand, like, continuously asking, like, hey, is the body cam footage still, still playing? Because, like, hypothetically, they could have turned it off and then started messing with him or whatever. However, in order to prove like, something like that? Like, he would also have to be... recording. Right? And he's gonna... Would it not make more sense to let them... turn the body cam off if they're going to do that? And then show your recording? And if you're not... But, it, but if you're not recording... Then them turning the body cam footage off doesn't prove anything anyways. Because it's just like... Well, I, like, there's no, there's no evidence, I guess, that, like, you, you asked. It's triple reverse psychology. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Overthinking this? 40 chests? FBI doesn't record anything unless it's a direct op. He's a fed... His word carries more value? They're both fucking feds, chat. They're both feds. You lost me? They're doing... They're going for backflips for this strategy? I'm just... I'm, I'm just not sure, like, what the... Like, what do you stand to gain by having the police department arrest you? People are acting like this is 4D chess. What, what does this man stand to gain by tipping off the entire fucking sheriff's office that they're being investigated by the FBI while he's doing a fucking investigation? Like, why would you get yourself involved in that? Would it not make more sense to, like, have a plant that's not directly involved? Or, like, not on, on paper anyways, involved with the FBI? And, and then plant, like, recording footage on them and shit? Apache thing, Dolores, the something for the feds in the comments is crazy? Like, what the fuck is going on here? The psychological pressure. See, that thing, my lord, is getting caught was part of a plan. What? What? In what world would that be a good plan? This guy was a diversion. His partner is breaking into the police station right now. Oh, it all makes sense. All right, he's being detained. Just in the plan. Thirty-three Franklin. We've, we've uh, detained this whiskey Mike and got him in cuffs in the back of the car now. I really wanna. I really wanna do a stream talking to an FBI agent someday. <laughs> I wanna do a stream talking to an FBI agent. And I wanna ask the most stupid fucking questions, and they're gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And I'm gonna be like, "So you don't deny it." And it'll be the stupidest fucking questions ever. But I'll feel vindicated. Don't talk to the police! He's hollering. I can't see I want to talk to the police. I'm self-incriminating. Yes, sir. It would be genuinely fun. It would be genuinely fun, chat. Ideally, like, a retired FBI agent or something. But, like... You know, I just want to ask the real questions. Like, if I threaten to kill the president in Minecraft, is that still... Can you arrest me for that? Or is it only if I post it on 4chan? Is Twitter okay? 
Jordy thing for doors. Uh, Joker voice that just won my phone call. The hangout face is for doors. On June 17th, 2024, police have received a call about a man expositing himself at the beer aisle at a local quick trip while DUIing on La Crosse, Wisconsin? What the fuck? Okay, okay. Alright, I'm turning it on right Hold now. Open the door. I can't. Like it, Utah. Sir, I can't open the door. You're being detained right now. Mega noising doors. We interact with feds every day unknowingly. Absolutely. It ain't I like to imagine I have a, I have a, I have an assigned FBI agent. And they watch my streams and they're like, you know what? I actually like my job. And then I, I feel a little bit better, you know? Making somebody's day just a little bit better. No, I don't. These three sacred doors. Uh, pretty sure they patched that, Pippa. I think they patched that. Going off. <laughs> I had the defroster on. No, you didn't. Brother, I need air. God almighty. Five out of I know you He's kind of whiny. Is this all part of his 4D chess? If they don't open the window, I can claim I'm suffocating. Even though the door's open. The front fucking door is open. You're not fucking suffocating, asshole. You're just being annoying. I, I think I get what he's doing, but it's like, what do you mean you can't breathe? The fucking front door to the vehicle is open. What are you blabbering about? Hey, Monger, you have uh, 3054 assigned FBI agents, Pippa. Okay. Okay. The party thing for Dolores. Glowy AI watches you now. Yeah, probably. I don't think I have a government assigned FBI agent. I think I just have Google. I'm doing this thing, Dolores. Pippa, you forgot the point. The Fed was a fake. He's not fake. Recognizing Dolores. Uh, agent Fool. Oh my god. Uh, Jack and Alpha, thank you for the two dollars. As you're saying, Glory, thanks for the shout out. You're welcome. See more. Thank you, baby. Not 40 chess, more like two six year olds playing Connect Four. I think this is funny, but it won't be funny after the day. 33, go ahead. Jack Crowling with the dollars. He can't breathe. All Give right, him sir. out the mouth. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Unlock me. Call, call 911. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, call sir. call 911 now. Call 911. I need 33. 33. Franklin to 33, can you give me an exact address? What the fuck? So is he testing the cops being willing to accommodate medical emergencies? Is this like is this like a test for corruption? Like, oh, if they don't call for 911 after I ask them to call for 911? Their intention is to let me die. We're at the yes. new, new substation for the sheriff's office, Franklin. Jacksonville, I need 911. I've asked for help. I didn't. Because if that's the case, then like. I, I, I don't think like the average civilian would, would, would be able to. Call on the radio or whatever. Like, what, 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 what is the angle here? You're not gaming them, Lord. You think the FBI agent has the same power as a cop? The FBI has way more power than a cop. What do you mean? Um, don't lose anything, but Lord, everyone in chat is the same federal agent. I'm sorry, you had to find out this way. Ah. Some Gary's ending with the $5. You can't treat me like this. I'm the one who gets to do it. How oh, the table's tabled. That's the vibe I'm getting. That's the thing, but Lord, just to be sure, is he asking for emergency services to call emergency services? I mean, to be fair, that's what you do when you call 911. Like, when you, when you call 911, you're calling for emergency services through emergency services. I think. Technically, right? Or maybe not. Can you Please verify that my AC's on real quick, John? It's on now. Please don't call for, for How could I not touch EMS? it? How could I touch it? It's on. Yeah. Yeah, police can call for an ambulance. I, I would guess my window is open back there. Yeah, but we need Agent Hatton was taken to the hospital and was released the same day. Hours. Otherwise, <laughs> would be radio for medical, I think, or give me an ambulance now. The cops don't have to dial nine one one. 
after Agent Hatton was released, FBI brass descended on Apalachicola, meeting with Deputy Gordon and the sheriff to find out what happened and why. After some talks, the sheriff's office and the FBI were able to put this incident behind them and <laughs> determined that more training and agency transparency was needed on both sides. In no shit! the Tallahassee Democrat, Franklin County Sheriff A.J. Smith pointed to a silver lining of the encounter and said, quote, We're going to try to use this to make both our agencies work together a lot better. Overall, Deputy Gordon and the Franklin County Sheriff's Office get a C-, because although their actions were debatably within their authority, the deputies chose to treat Agent Hatton as if he were impersonating an officer before verifying any information. And like- Yeah, that is weird. That is weird. It can't be that hard, right? Like, there's, there's gotta be systems in place to easily just check. Kill them, fun lawyers. The police love to call fire EMS because they can offload troublesome people on them and not deal with the set of the situation. Really annoying. But like at the same time, like he could have gone about it better, right? But like they were trying to, they were trying to like pull him aside so they could look into it. Was there was there an easier way of doing that? Tacos burrito thing or the tenderloin. There's an interrogation of a guy who got shot in the guy, but the interrogator thought he was the killer. Crazy stuff. Quickly did so in retaliation to the Wait, federal investigation that? into their department that the agent was conducting. While it could be argued that Agent Hatton's demeanor was legitimately suspicious to Deputy Gordon, one question that the deputy think, but in our agency stuff seems non-existent. Deputy never considered was how did Agent Hatton know about a citation that the deputy had issued over two weeks prior if the ticket never reached the public domain at the clerk's office? Only an individual with access to state databases would have known about the citation. The deputies must have been convinced that Agent Hatton was a member of a highly organized crime crime syndicate, capable of accessing extremely restricted information, but who are particularly interested in minor traffic citations. As or he just didn't think about it? Like... I, I, I think that's... I think, I think you're schizo posting a bit. I think it's a little bit schizo. I don't, I don't think the cop even fucking, like, noticed, right? Like, I don't, I don't think... I don't think... Like... Deputy Gordon here is personally thinking like, Oh man, but I personally cancelled that traffic ticket. How could this person claiming to be an FBI agent know about that? Only FBI agents would know about that. I don't think it was that deep. I, th I think he wasn't thinking about that. I think he was thinking about the weird motherfucker asking him to meet in the parking lot. For Agent Hatton's claim that the deputies quote-unquote smoked him out in the back of the patrol car, it was 66 degrees on the day of this interaction. Oh my fucking god. I think it was a 420. Um. And most of the deputies are wearing jackets. However, studies have shown that even cars parked in shade on an average day can quickly and significantly increase a human's internal temperature. Oh, fuck Whether off. Or not the agent was in any real danger is unconfirmed, but he was able to make a full recovery. No shit. I know, thank you. Uh, remember the state? This is happening in Pippa. People in chat are sympathetic with the feds because in their eyes, he's the hero stopping the evil empire. Special Agent Hatton gets a B minus because although oh fuck off I think the twenty or the two seventy nine he's a fifth that's for sure whole chain thing but according to the deputies his driver's license came back what a terrorist watch list what the fuck uh just John thing the two lawyers never tell the cops anything they don't know well he remained calm and relatively level headed throughout the encounter he what do you mean calm and level headed. He also used questionable and unprofessional police tactics. It is difficult to speculate on the surveillance tactics of the FBI, but you would think that a well-trained agent would handle a botched rendezvous with a little more patience and professionalism. Instead of trying to defuse the situation, Agent Hatton chose to order Deputy Gordon to turn off his body cam and threaten to call the U.S. Attorney's Office, effectively severing any leads into his investigation that he may have had from the Sheriff's Office. It is unclear whether any of the deputies or Agent Hatton were reprimanded as a result of this interaction. Action. But it appears as though the departments were able to settle their differences and establish a more productive relationship moving forward. There were a few elements of this encounter Doubt? that I was unable to cover in this video, and I highly suggest checking out the Tallahassee Democrats' coverage of this story. You can find all the links in the description. Mark is really saying, I retract my comment about the heat. Fed is weak. Fed is weak. Wait, what else did the comments say? Um... Cop, I don't think this FBI guy's legit. Citizens, how do we know when getting pulled over that you're legit, cop, because I say so? You can, you can ask for their badge number and call 911 to ask. What do you, what do you mean? What? 
What? How do we know when getting pulled over that you're legit? Because I said, call, call 911 and ask and confirm. Like, that's, that's a thing that you can do. They don't have to do that, Pippa? If you want to confirm that somebody's a police officer, ask for their name and badge number, call 911, Ask to be, ask to be connected, or uh, say, hello, I just got pulled over on this road. I just want to confirm that, uh, this is a real police officer that has pulled me over. You can do that. I, uh, what? While not even an FBI special agent can just talk to a cop about something without the risk of being arrested when the cop gets mildly annoyed? He only started to arrest him because he wasn't fucking complying. What are these comments on? Did the fucking FBI buy bots for the comment section? What the hell is this? Guy is on um, baby. Good to know this is the replacement for our rights. Detaining a federal agent who is investigating your department, the ultimate of stupidity. He didn't know he was a fed. This right there is called corruption. The cop probably knows why the FBI agent is talking to him, but refuses to talk and contacts the whole department. It's like gang mentality. I really don't think it's that deep. Chat, am I, am I simple-minded? I really don't think it's that fucking deep. I think if you had a weird motherfucker call you over to the parking lot, and you're like, hey, turn your body cam footage off. That's weird! I'm definitely an FBI agent. I don't have a badge, but here's my, here's my credentials, quote-unquote. Okay. Weird. Let me pull you aside and ask some other people about this. I really, I really don't understand this, Jet. Am I being brain dead? The Mark Green experiencing for $50! Hurrings are dull news at 11? Daniel's here, like, $2, the comments glow, the Fed was nuts, cop was fine, black amazing, my lord's better cop. Both are fascist and willing. Uh, my uncle used to work for the FBI. The dumbest thing in the video was the officer asking how you got his telephone number. And if an FBI agent is investigating you, they know your number, your address, your affairs, your wife's affairs, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner patterns. They even know what boxers you wear in bed. He didn't know he was a real fed. He was trying to find out. It's the thing for those unironically seeing the viewer count jump from 37 to 50 for a different indie streamer the moment she brought up the feds. I seriously think they use bots. Gooey advertising for the two lords, you can strongly dislike the feds and cops. Yeah. Well, I don't... I don't think the cop did a great job. But, like... I, I, I really feel like this is overblown. Like, it wasn't a perfectly handled situation or whatever, but, like... Are we really gonna act like the FBI agent wasn't in the worst here? The cop is a clown to the FBI. This guy's reverse psychology is on point. Just tell the cop what not to do and he will do the opposite every single time. What? I, f I feel like I'm going insane. The FBI special agent deserves an A+. This case was about illegal operations involving law enforcement in the court. Police cannot hold charges or remove charges already forwarded to the court for personal friends. They knew damn well he was an FBI special agent. If they knew that, I don't think they would have they would have dragged it out like this. I, I like this just does not seem like it would have been the correct way to go. What? The agent was overdressed in a hot car in his clearly gray hair? It's 66 degrees out, motherfucker! The temperature in a car can be dangerous in 65 degree sun! Is it- is it That's sunny nice. out? It's like- it's like overcast! What do you mean in the sun? There's literally a cloud in front of the fucking sun! What the hell are these comments? The temperature in the car can be dangerous in 65 degrees sun. The cop was there to interview, knew the corruption of his actions on that leaving the scene of an accident, and if she thought she was free to leave the scene, she would... The prosecutors could not charge the matter. The fact that the charge could be removed from the system by an unauthorized personnel indicates an entire culture of illegal acts between the executive branch and the court. What the fuck are you going on about? I wonder if the FBI special agent began to have anxiety out of fear of safety! 
What? Node help. Did fucking Chat GPT write this? Did motherfucker go to Chat GPT and ask write write a YouTube comment with the following themes? Make it heavily biased towards the FBI agent. Is that what it, is that what they did? Is that what they did? Note how police begin to talk to him about him as a terrorist. When? When did they talk about him like he was a terrorist? I think there's much of the story still unknown. Great audit. Why was there still sun? It's well after 6 p.m. According to the body cam overlay, sundown was 5.40 p.m. on that day. What? Bro, nowhere in the world is it fucking nighttime. By 5.40 p.m. What the fuck are you people on? The park great experience taking without a dollar. Was imagine kissing Fed Bob right now. Stay these over Feds. I just... I see, this, this has got to be potted! This has got to be potted! In the winter it is? I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know. Like, like it, gets, it gets dark fast in the winter, but like... December 20th. 18, 24 o'clock. I... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, in Florida? I don't know. You know how time zones work. What? It's amazing, Dolores. What the physics is happening? Is it universal time? Is body cam footage in universal time? That's the thing, Dolores. You're being triggered by FBI bots, Pip. The sun is a fed. I don't know. I, 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 I don't get this. I don't, I don't get this. Like, maybe, maybe it gets dead of night by like 6 p.m. in some places, but like... Phoenix Gaming Name of the Front Doors has happened in Tallahassee. 65 degrees in Florida is basically winter. I see this as totally not a resident of the Sunshine State of Florida. Andy Cannon Name of the Front Doors. The comment section there seems to be filled with badge, bad bu badge bunnies and redditors and simps. Also, it depends on your latitude. The Fox Name of the Ten Dollars. Well, hey there, Pippa. I turned 18 today. Congrats! Came back home to steak and whiskey with my father. Hell yeah. Hope you're also living the dream and taking care of yourself. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Steak and whiskey, that sounds delicious. I want some steak. FBI agent played them like a damn fiddle? I literally called this department to tell them thank you for making me laugh out loud from their stupidity. It's cow tipping. When the cop asked how the FBI got his info, I was hoping the FBI said that's above your pay grade. To this is so weird. This is so fucking weird. I feel like... I feel like you had a bunch of fucking FBI agents sitting around the office being like, Hey, did you guys see this video that got put out? Look at this. Oh man, yeah, they were siding with us. Okay, yeah, let's, let's post some comments and then we'll pay some bots to... to upload them. Holy bootlicker, what is with all the fucking bootlickers and audit the audits comment section? I've never actually read the comment section before on his videos. Are they- are they always like this? I feel like this is- this is like one of the channels where you would not have a bunch of fucking bootlickers. Like... Good thing you don't? Check newest comments? Hold on. Okay. Good idea, Peppa. Yeah. <laughs> Pip can notice me, senpai. Glowy's tongue of my anus. I don't know, man. The FBI guy was acting super weird. This comment section glows so hard. I wish I was signed in. I would upload this. Uh, glad to know my tax dollars are going into police arresting my FBI agents. Nothing worse than a dirty cop. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just noticing, I'm just noticing. Uh, just to be fair, the sheriff cops, the FBI guy was being a little weird. He was. FBI is a joke? Feds are supreme? <laughs> um... Just 
proved that the only solution to the crap please is action taken outside of the justice system? Eh, this is probably the most confusing video I've watched on this channel yet. After watching and reading a bunch of comments, I still don't fully understand the situation. Bro wanted to be in this situation, playing suspicious. From all these things that's going on with the FBI, I'm pretty sure this is an intimidation tactic. Uh, boy, the ones who investigate everyone else's business sure don't seem like it when it... What? What? The ones who investigate everyone else's business sure don't like it when someone does it to them. Uh, Tiger not thinking of BB. I know a lot of GTA RP people watch these videos so they can improve their RP. Are you serious? JC thing, Jalars. 5.37 p.m. is sunset for December, apparently. I'm um, shock. Hmm. Is it... Is this all a conspiracy? Is none of this real? Breeze is crying, I'm big baby. Is none of this real? LARPing is a glowy. I'm pretty sure the FBI agent deliberately caused this to test the sheriff's office. It seems pretty obvious with all the information in place. I just... I just don't... Why so much fed simping? That's what I'm asking, man. I don't... This comment section is sus, chat. This comment section is really fucking sus. And not even the 131. Stop noticing things. This is... This is fucking weird. Nobody put a thing with five dollars. There's no way we watch the same video as these guys. There's no way. There's no way. This is too fucking weird. This is... This is way too fucking weird. Bunch of agents. Bunch of fucking agents, Chad. Okay, let's see here. What else do you guys recommend? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. When the detective realizes the suspect is dying. There we go. Oh, it was a real gun, man. It was just a revolver. Hold on. No, it was a real oh, no, that's gun, man. It was just a revolver. They shot you in the eye with a revolver. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. This one's creepy. How do you know? It was most likely you be dead. That's what I thought too, man. I really don't know. After the building went to the dollars. I can't believe it either. Time for someone to start audit the comments. Do you consider yourself a good lie detector? Can no. you sense when someone is guilty or innocent? No. What's up, Ewoo crew? It's the Raven, here to talk about another- What the fuck? Is this his intro? What's up, Ewoo crew? This is the Raven? What the fuck? Shocking, interesting, or just strange, but very true story with you. We're trying out something new today. Interrogation footage is one of the most fascinating ways to analyze the raw, unedited behavior of criminals. But hindsight is 2020, and a lot of the time. When we already know that someone committed a horrible crime, the signs of deception or manipulation can be way more obvious. We get the fucking body cam- or not body cam- uh, body language specialist on TikTok, they're like, See, you can tell he was lying because he looked to the left and he blinked. And you only look to the left and then blink when you're, when you're engaged in psychological manipulation. Now, see, this is something gaslighters do. And I know a lot about gaslighting because I do it to my, to, to my, my, my family on, on uh, the daily basis when I, I want a Starbucks. And they're like, no, you cannot have Starbucks. I'm sorry, I'm recalling this video. Oh, God, I want to show you guys this video so bad. I want to show you guys this video so bad. It's, it doesn't have anything to do with interrogations, though. Maybe it does. Maybe it kind of does. Hold on. Mm. Mm. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Starbucks one? It's like a new one. Show the bait. I'll show it after this. After all, we know exactly what to look for. Today's case is shocking, disturbing, and extremely tragic. But as we look over the interrogation footage that has made it famous, try and decide for yourself what you think really happened. Did this kid die? Objectively, a cat thing from the I'm pretty sure these comments are leftists who think of the federal government as a personal lord and savior and hate local law enforcement. Weird. He did die. Oh. Anti annihilator thinks Vandor's body language reading is bigger pseudoscience than phrenology. Rex Plating, Vandor's Pippa comes out tomorrow, dubs a baby! My sprinkles and in chicken. Oh? I'll have to I'll have to look. As if you were the detective with only a few He died later of complications due to the untreated wound. That's so fucked up. To go off of. Now, let's get into it. It That's was so Christmas fucked up. Day of 2006 in Arizona, and the families of 21-year-old Heather Kwan and her boyfriend, 18-year-old Ryan Waller, knew something was very, very wrong. The young woman had gone over to Ryan's home on the 23rd to watch a movie and eat pizza. The pimple but shot him. had heard from either person since and both never showed up for the annual holiday activities. 
After a call from the couple's concerned parents, Phoenix police were dispatched to do a welfare check at Ryan's apartment. This was in God's God most empathetic police officer. Never forget. On the couch was Heather, dead from a gunshot wound to the head. But then they discovered something really weird. Ryan was still alive. More than that, he was conscious and able to walk and speak with officers. Although he was acting strange and wouldn't give any straight answers, or if he did, he would contradict himself. Probably because he had some fucking brain damage from being shot in the fucking eye. Of course, police were extremely suspicious right off the bat. He was placed into the back of a police cruiser for a long while as authorities took a closer look at the crime scene and Heather's body, and then he was eventually taken to an interrogation room. What the hell? Is it, is it, in, is it adrenaline or something that's like keeping him going? Like how the fuck? Or did it like damage his pain receptors or something? No medical care, no medical care. As you can care. see, Ryan is in bad shape. His face is covered with bad bruises and he seems very disheveled and agitated. While he waits, he periodically moans and plays with his handcuffs. Before trying to rest his head on the table, it's about 5 a.m. Mm. I'd have swollen his brain. Ryan gets up and sits back down, and then someone walks in and takes pictures of the bottom of his feet. What the fuck? Ryan's been silent for a while, but then he suddenly pipes up to say, Man, I just want to go to sleep. That will happen to me later. Because you're going to die. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Lee. Should it not be like standard protocol if somebody is like fucked up like this that you get the medical attention first? This is abuse? This is abuse! And then really pay attention to what is said next, because this will become super important later on. Alright, do I get to go home? I don't know. Should go to the doctor's or should go. Me? Yeah. Why? That? Yeah. Is it bad? I'd say that's really bad. Looking at the bru- Then why do you have him in the fucking interrogation room? This is horrible! But if the detective realizes, then what the fuck is he doing? This is on Ryan's face. Police aren't quite sure what to make of the situation. Did he get in a physical fight with Heather and things ended badly for Sorry, her? I think that this Either is on nine. purpose or by accident. It's crazy how many people will brag about how free America is when these videos prove that your rights are very much alienable. Yeah. Were these wounds the result of her trying to defend herself? Was Anyways, Ryan mentally was unstable and had somehow hurt himself? All they knew was they weren't really getting much out of the frustrated young man sitting on the other side of the table. He repeatedly asked to go to sleep, but he's told that on the ah. chance he has suffered a concussion, the doctor has advised not to let him sleep. God, Another this is making me anxious. To inspect Ryan, and when he tells him to got, put one foot on Just got in pit while we're doing it. Are we watching stupidest confessions ever? Watching police corruption. Table. Ryan seems to have trouble following these directions. He seems ah, uncomfortable. <sighs> Finally, the detective starts the investigation, and one of the first questions well, he asks is, make you is, angry. You know why you're down here, Ryan? Because the police are incompetent? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, in this next clip, keep a really close eye on Ryan's behavior. Oh, God. How fidgety and distressed he acts. I don't know what happened, okay? So they just said they talked to a doctor. Where, 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 am I blind? Where did they say they talked to a doctor? Do something to make sure you understand your rights, okay? Based on the reading. You've seen cops before, right? They said he should talk to a doctor. They didn't say he did. He, they did? When? They brought one in? He was blind confirmed. Hold on. To let him sleep. Another told that on the chance he is the other side of the table, he repeatedly asked to go to sleep. But he's told that on the chance he has suffered a concussion, the doctor has advised not to let him sleep. Another that doesn't mean a doctor looked at him. Never just said it. That does not mean a doctor looked at him. That means that can mean any number of things. Yeah, it was probably a fucking doctor on the phone. The doctor advised the cops. Like, you ring them up. Hey, we got a guy here with a pretty bruised up face. Uh, should we bring him in? 
Oh, no, if his face is just bruised up, it's probably fine. Just don't let him go to sleep because he might have a concussion. Like, that's not a fucking... That's not... That's not a checkup. That's not... That's not... They had him looked over by a doctor. Watch it, like, go me. Like, with stuff like this, you have to actually... You, you, you have... To go a little further? Other man comes in to inspect Ryan, and when he tells him to put one foot on the table, Ryan seems to have trouble following these directions. He seems uncomfortable. <laughs> Finally, the detective starts the investigation. It's a detective looking him over. That's not a doctor. Like, this shit, this shit matters, Chad. It's fine to be wrong, Peppa. No, no, this shit matters, okay? If the police... I just realized it's not cropped all the way. If the police are like, oh, well, we contacted a doctor. That's not having a doctor look him over. That's, that's not the same thing. You don't get to say, oh, well, we contacted a doctor. That's not the same thing. Wait, this, this person needs to see a fucking doctor. Like, actually see a fucking doctor, not... Oh, well... This guy has fucked up face. Should we bring him in? Ah, uh, no, he's probably fine. Just don't let him go to sleep. And one of the first questions he asks is... You know why you're down here, Ryan? Okay, getting one guy. It's just... It's you have just... no idea why you're down here, mm -hmm. Now in this if you let them get away with this shit, they will continue to get away with this shit. Like, I know that's so obvious, but like, fun can slip a thing in the Uh, it's okay, Pippa. He contacted a doctor. Next clip, keep a really close eye on Ryan's behavior. How fidgety and distressed he acts. I don't know what happened, okay? And the language I actually well, used was ambiguous. Make sure you understand your rights, okay? Basically, I'm gonna read it. You've seen cops before, right? Ever seen a TV show, Cops, or... CSI. Oh, God. Okay. You ever seen that? No. You've never seen any kind of cop show? Lawyer show? Any kind of show? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Oh, God. You listen up real close. Now. You guys think it was a $2 right dollars to call Saul? No, fam. That's what the be used against you in a court of law. And then this is where things get really weird. The detective asks a really simple question. What's the um, highest grade you went through school? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know oh my god. Grade you went eighth? Did you, eighth grade? Did you graduate? Yeah. Did you do you have a GED? I don't know. Okay, so the detective is obviously really confused now. Is Ryan genuinely this shocked by what happened, or so disoriented that he can't remember the answers to such basic questions? Is the early morning making him irritable, or is he being standoffish for some other reason? The detective isn't sure what he's hiding, so he presses on. He's in pain! Am I fucking schizophrenic, Chet? Like, it feels so obvious! Like, look at the fucking way he's moving and everything! This is so- Like, how- How do you not fucking notice? How do you not fucking notice? How many pissing for Lord? He looks like the guy you kept hitting with rocks in forest! Kelvin? Well, Summer's name of Adores is real for me right now. My sister's shoulder was broken by an officer during a traffic stop recently, and we are suing over not administering aid. Bakes to get their asses. Get their asses. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Do you have a girlfriend? Mm. Ups are desensitized. Mm -hmm. No. You know, Jesus you know Christ. Mm -hmm. You know Heather's last name? Mm -hmm. I could read that same dollars. Heather's last they probably think he's stoned. Mm -hmm. This is well, not. Is this is not seem stoned. Also, I guess, I don't know. if they think he's stoned, they could have. They, What's her last name? They can run like drug tests and shit. Um. I'm a magic thing for Dolores. I'm just a former lifeguard, but I'm calling EMS before I get to the first aid I don't station. Know Jesus. Name. She's trying to use her last one. She's trying to have a real last as her nickname. So I don't know. Oh god. What name does she go by? Yeah, stone with a gigantic bruise on his face. She probably wants the last name Kaiman. Kaiman? Wrong last name. How would you spell that? With a K ah, or a C? Automatic thing is if I give it peace! It's magic cool. thing, Dolores. You're smart, cops aren't you? are brave and kind. Uh, thank you, I'm not smart. I'm not brave and I'm not kind, but thank you. Saying a different last name, mumbling something about her going by different nicknames, and even mentioning something vague about her living there. But why is he speaking about her so nonchalantly when he was the last person known to be with her, and she was just found dead with him inside of his apartment hours earlier? How old is Heather? 
16 and 17. Oh my god. Is she a white girl? Yeah. His fucking brain is scrambled, Jack. His fucking brain is scrambled. Holy I shit. Look, I don't even know. Also, Jim told me you were supposed to show your it's armpits and shut up. Okay. He's actually fried. He's actually fucking um, fried, chat. He's a stoner from school. She used to oh be. Oh my a god. Name. I don't know. She used to be do a business name. She used to be in my book named with business name. Oh, okay. She used to be in the class, your business class. Mm-hmm. All right. Things are just getting oh more confusing God. as this line of conversation goes on. And so the detective tries a more direct approach. What happened to your face? I don't know. You told the officer just a few minutes ago that someone hit you. Do you remember who hit you? Um, I don't know. I think it was Heather. He doesn't fucking know, man. I'm oh, Jack rolling with dollars. Come on, guys, don't be so mean to the cops. If not for them, we would accidentally get innocent people killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything went to something. Now he got a bullet in his head playing 20 questions. Uh, that was an accident. Others? This day? is awful to watch. No. I don't like watching this. I I no, do I do not like this one. I kind of just want to skip through. Sorry about thing for Doris. I'd be really disoriented. So talk is getting... If I'd been shot in the head, too cool. It's solving thing for Doris. The man's brain is actually dying as I speak. Of course, he can't answer straight. I can skip. What is... Let's click through a bit, maybe. Let's shoot an arrow above and darts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh my Ever god. Did you have a lot of guns in your house? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Well, you know. My feet hurt, man. I don't know why. Because you're dying! So, up until this point, it seems like the detective held little stock in Ryan's newest version of events. I mean, a Okay, he let's... could have gotten help, but instead was getting worse. Well, spoiler alert, it was... Hold on, hold on, there's... Right. there's he's to bring the doctor. I can't believe it. Uh, this is just my observations that this might be an entrance, this might be an exit, this might be into his eye. And he's acting uh, like... <sighs> About time? I wonder... Wait, hold on. 6.02. Hold on. Oh man, he was sitting there for a fucking hour dying. Oh, that's so fucking horrible, chat. That's so fucking horrible. ...that nobody would have expected in a million years. And it's one that they probably hope isn't actually true. Wait, I think Money. I skipped too far. Yeah. Hold on. This is just my... Observations. He was in the car for longer. Yeah, and he was in the car for longer. The amount of time it uh, must have took as well to like get a fucking detective to talk to him. Hello, do you think for those you'd be surprised what you live through? Be, be surprised what'll do you in? We're currently witnessing both of these statements at once. Yep. This might be an entrance. This might be an exit. This might be into. Four hours in the car. And he's acting uh, like he has a serious head injury, which. Would... He'd been shot three days earlier. No. Makes sense. So Is it six now, hours? all the puzzle pieces are starting to fall together. A single explanation appears that nobody oh, would have God. expected in a million years. And it's one that they probably hope isn't actually true. That's because if Ryan really had been shot in the head, that would mean that they neglected to get him proper medical treatment while he waited in the... Oh my fucking God. Oh my god. They literally did. They literally did just fucking like call up a doctor. Hey, do you think we need to get a medical attention? Oh, uh, what's wrong with him? Oh, his face is just fucking destroyed. His face is demolished. He's acting fucking incoherent. Oh, just don't let him sleep. He probably just has a concussion. Police car and underwent this lengthy interrogation. They killed him, basically? Was... They didn't kill him, basically. They did kill him. These people did kill him. Every single police officer that allowed this to happen did fucking kill him. They saw the shape he was in. And instead of prioritizing his safety, they prioritized interrogating him.
said and done, allegedly added up to about six hours. Six oh hours my where Ryan God. would have been sustaining permanent brain damage. Six hours where he could have gotten help, but instead was getting worse. Oh my well, spoiler God. alert, it was true. Ryan had actually been shot in the eye, and his account of the break-in and shooting by a man named Richie and his dad was 100% real, even if he couldn't exactly get the details straight due to his injury. Are there guns around? Animal smoke causing him to be. If it helps, he didn't die here, but years later from complications. Exactly. Okay, that's... Okay, that makes me feel a bit better. That makes me feel a bit better. But would he have died from the complications? Uh, well, did he die from complications from this? And would he have died from those complications if he didn't get medical treatment? I guess to say it like at this point, right? Like if he if he died years later, it's like you'll never really know. So I'm not saying like you should hold the cops like accountable for him dying years later. But you should hold him accountable for what they fucking did. They did they did risk his life. He could have died there. So I am curious. I'm curious. I'm getting mixed information. He could have lived if they got a medical attention. He could have. He could have. Hold the cops. Hold the cops accountable. Period. Yeah. I might have been shot. I don't know. Let it finish. It tells them all. Know. Okay. I don't know. It looks like it went right through, huh? Yeah, it might have. One. Oh my god. This next clip isn't anything special, but it was the moment that really broke my heart. Ryan is told that his ride to the hospital is here, and the way he gets up and walks out without any trouble just shows that he's no cold-blooded criminal. He's a confused and scared young man who just suffered one of the most mentally and physically traumatizing experiences I can imagine. I don't think that's fair to say. Criminal criminals can just get up and fucking leave like that pathetic. Like they, they can be up, up the, I don't I don't know, I don't think that shows anything. And the last line I guess it makes for a nice story though. And before the video cuts off really just makes you kind of angry at how lightly the situation I'm is. I'm already angry! Oh, You're right here. Just checked out. Yeah, he's still here. When Ryan arrived Aww. at the hospital, he was sent to the intensive care unit in critical condition. As his family anxiously waited, they had no idea if they would ever see or talk to their son again. Ultimately, Ryan did survive, oh, but nice. doctors had to remove part of his brain oh, and my God. also lost both of his eyes. Oh. Oh my God. The severity and placement of the gunshot wound. Oh my God. That, there's not that much information available online about the case. But according to Arizona Daily Independent, uh, because Ryan had been able to identify his attackers, authorities soon apprehended Richie Carver and his father, Larry. Then they started to piece together the details of- These two people do not look related at all. What the fuck? Of why this tragedy had even happened in the first place. Richie was apparently a former roommate of Ryan's, and on December 23rd, he and his the father reportedly remember? went to the Everyone apartment where Ryan and victims Heather survived the initial seeking trauma? some sort of revenge. Some sources say that this grudge was due to a presumed altercation. Arizona Capital Times even reported that Richie and Ryan had had some armed confrontations with one another in the month before the shooting and after Waller had kicked him out of the house. Some netizens have alleged that Richie had actually been kicked out for hitting on Heather but this is not confirmed. Either way, the two attackers tried to force their way through the doorway of the residence, and in the midst of this chaos, Richie stuck his arm inside of the home and landed a shot right in Ryan's head with a 22 caliber handgun. After that, it seems that they were able to fully enter the apartment, stepping over Ryan, who they thought was dead. But this was their biggest mistake. Ironically, the two purportedly only shot and killed Heather Kwan next because they wanted to cover their tracks, and unfortunately, she was a witness. The bullet struck her in the head at point-blank range as she lay peacefully on the couch. Satisfied that they'd gotten rid of anyone who might be able to identify them, they carried on with the job. But little did they know oh they my had God. left a witness behind. Uh, dead man gaming name with Lars this is more of a hindsight thing. You wouldn't think he was shot in the head for real? Who? when he was aware of his surrounding and talking. No, it's not a hindsight thing. That's a fucking stupid thing to say. Like, I'm sorry, but that's a stupid thing to say. It's not a hindsight thing. He's fucking bruised and bloody in the fucking face. You take him to get medical attention. Like, that's just common sense. Even if you don't think, like, even if it's not like, oh, like, there's an obvious gunshot wound, right? You're not thinking, oh, it's an obvious gunshot wound or whatever the fuck. You still take him to get medical attention. 
because you don't know if the person is guilty or not. It's innocent until proven guilty. Okay? So you should prioritize getting what is presumably an innocent person medical attention. That's just... Th there is literally no other answer. I... This is, this is entirely a black and white situation. Uh, Apache, thank you for I'm a firefighter and cops typically call EMS. We check on the suspect if they can claim of any medical issue. No clue what these cops were thinking. Oh, he was repeatedly saying he was in pain. Wait. Okay, he didn't directly ask to see a doctor, maybe. An unconscious person can't ask to see a fucking doctor either, but they still obviously need medical attention. I can see why they thought it was safe to assume he was moaning was in dead. pain. That ended up being their biggest downfall. And so it followed that after shooting Heather and stealing several weapons and a computer from Happy the Happy birthday, surprise. They left, leaving a gruesome and bloody crime scene for authorities to stumble upon days later. Oh my god, he was laying there for days. He was laying there for fucking days, chat. The god almighty thing for Lords, that's the bad thing about a 22, such a tiny bullet enters. It doesn't exit usually and it bounces around inside you. Oh my god. This is fucking horrible. This is fucking horrible. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Cross over anything, but your reputation as being based has made it to the FBI office and now you have an entire division devoted to your channel. Congrats, Biba. Oh my god. Heck it thing come be. I came here to laugh at dumb criminals. This is just making me depressed, bro. We're gonna have to look at a funny one after this. This is fucking horrible. And the fact that police didn't come for the welfare check until the night after Christmas Day makes things. Oh, we gotta take your fucking. You gotta take your vacation. You gotta take your fucking vacation. Full of amazing front doors. 22 LR can penetrate level 2 armor. 22 is still good. Okay. Even crazier because Close it is eyes. horrifying Thank to wonder what Ryan we go back was to doing time. Instead. Many people have theorized he was left to just wander around the house in a confused fog, plagued by a horrible pain. Oh he my half fucking god! The whole time, falling in and out of sleep, only maybe registering for brief moments that his girlfriend was dead and oh decomposing on the couch next to him. Richie Carver ended up being convicted in June 2008 of felony murder, burglary, aggravated assault, and misconduct involving weapons, and he was sentenced to a term of natural life. But here's where things get extremely frustrating. Professor Keenan, the case come big against baby. his father Larry was actually dismissed. Why? Sources say the case against him was based in large part on confessions he had allegedly made to his wife. And? Just a thing for the I guess from his perspective, this is just an 18 karat run of bad luck? What, what, what you mean? Confessions of the wife? The fucking, the fucking victim saw him do it! What do you mean? I don't hear anything, baby. Fun fact, lead 22 bullets don't bounce around in your head. But I don't fucking know. I don't know. Listen, there's ballistic channels we can watch. I see them in my fucking recommended all the time. Oh, uh, this versus this. Oh, does this happen? Well, those things, my lords. Even in practical sense, you're not going to know if the person is guilty if they die while you're interrogating them. And so after she chose to invoke her marital privilege and refused to testify against her husband, there was nothing officials could really do besides dismiss the what charges. The but victim? don't get too angry yet, because one good thing actually came out of all of this. Please tell me Larry got hit by a fucking semi-truck and he was smashed into tomato paste. And they fucking, like, but his, his, his fucking head was still connected to his spine, so he suffered the entire time. Heather's family fought for legislature to enact what would become known as Heather's Law. This amendment would provide an exception to the marital communications privilege if one spouse had voluntarily provided law enforcement with information about their spouse's involvement in a serious crime. But just establishing the law wasn't enough, and it still had to be battled out in court to make sure it could be applied retroactively to Larry Carver's case. Luckily, they won. Okay, I do feel weird about that. All right, like my anger with this situation is ah! Hold on, sorry, my microphone popped off. My anger with the situation aside, I feel really weird about like retroactively applying stuff like that. Like, like you, if, if something if something wasn't the law when it happened, then I think it's kind of fucked up to later go on and say, oh, well, now it is the law. So actually, it's like. It already, it already happened. It already, it already happened. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think that's... I feel like it sets a bad precedent, you know? Like, even if it did produce a good outcome in this situation, it's a bad pre uh, pre precedent. TTM Fiending, for those, can we watch FPS Russia videos instead? This makes me sad. Um... Legato, not eating for doors. This ain't New Vegas. 22 don't puncture armor. I've been shot with a 22 before. You're not eating with the fun doors. Oh, jeez. Let me just put the funny rabbit before I go to bed. What a great idea. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your first ever super chat. Oh, Carver thank you, thank was you. was reindicted in 2011. And after a two and a half day deliberation, he was found guilty of first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, burglary, and aggravated assault. But although this mm. victory was a relief to the victim's loved ones, the permanent damage done to Ryan could never be reversed. He became blind and suffered from oh. debilitating seizures after the incident. His family remains outraged that roughly six hours were allowed to pass without their son receiving the medical treatment. He so desperately needed it just makes you think chat like if they had taken him to the doctor immediately like it's unlikely right like realistically speaking it's unlikely because he'd already been like wandering around for two days but then it's entirely possible it's entirely possible but we'll never know because they didn't they didn't get him medical attention it's unlikely but it's possible a highland juggler thing with noise innocent until proven isn't what the normie want, despite them claiming they do, because the public treats everyone on trial as if they are guilty. Half of you whiners bootlick by default, don't lie. Mm. And many people feel that the main issue was that Ryan was automatically treated as a suspect instead yeah. of a potential victim. The Phoenix PD reportedly explained that it shouldn't even be like treated as a potential victim, right? It should just be innocent. Innocent. It don't need to be. It doesn't need to be like he's a victim. It should just be. Innocent until proven guilty, why are you treating him like a criminal? That's just also thing if I give you peace. They didn't know the Although to be fair, I don't think you should treat criminals like this either. I think even if you did think he was guilty, it does not make sense to do what they did. You don't deprive somebody of medical attention because you think they're guilty of a crime. Yes, the crime might be fucking abhorrent, right? Like the crime of him potentially murdering his girlfriend. That's a fucking horrible crime. But you don't deprive the person of medical attention. You're supposed to let the fucking justice system carry out its its systems. Like this is this is this is nonsensical. The young man had been shot. They just thought he had been badly beaten, and that's why he was made to wait in the back of a police car while they investigated. I can only hope that this case, at the very least, will serve as a powerful lesson so that nothing like this ever happens again. Sadly, a YouTube channel called the Waller. Yeah, you keep them alive and serve justice after family believed to be owned by Ryan's loved ones shared in January of 2016 that Ryan passed away from a seizure oh. as a direct result of being shot in the head. The post reads, R.I.P. Ryan, I love and miss you so much, Dad. On another one of their videos, the Waller family account shared some truly disturbing details when they alleged my son Ryan had been shot twice in the head. The first bullet went in through the tip of the nose on the side, then came out of the other side near the bridge, then went in oh through his my God. Shattering his bone, sending six pieces of bone socket ah! along with the bullet into his brain. He was then shot in the side of his head ah! over his ear. But that bullet just took a piece ah! of his skull away, but ah! did not enter his brain. Altogether, he had four bullet holes in his face and head. The holes were very visual, as the police had taken 43 pictures of my son before he was taken into that interrogation room, with the pictures having close-ups of every hole on his face and head. Oh my fucking god, they did know. I I don't think this detective knew. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the detective the benefit. The detective is still a fucking idiot. Okay. But whoever was involved in taking those photographs did know and didn't do anything. Like I'm gonna give the detective the benefit of the doubt, like he's sitting like a distance from him and stuff. Like he probably, like, didn't see, like, these details. But the people who took the fucking photos for this shit... Oh my god. Dad, how did nobody notice this until it was way, way too late? Alright, I think we're at 279. Pippa, can we just watch Karen's get on? Yeah, I have a- I have a funny Karen one. We're gonna- we're gonna switch to the funny Karen one. Um, if I can- if I can find the name of it. Um... Oh shit, what channel was it on? Hold on. God, that was fucking horrible. That was fucking horrible chat. 
Uh, they don't say anything, Dolores. Pippa, can we celebrate your birthday now? No! Not curling Dolores' hat. Guys, funny stream. Such a good time, right? That was a horrible. That was a horrible chat. Oh, God. Um... Does anybody... Perhaps somebody knows the name. Um... I've already watched a bit of it. But it's, um... It's this... This... This girl... She's, like, flipping out... About her dad. She's, like... She's getting arrested. Is it on, um... Is it called Blue Cam? I don't know. She's getting arrested... And she's arguing that her, that her dad is not called Blue Cam. That her dad is like a narcissist, like that's how it starts off. Leon! Yeah, Leon Lush reacted to it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not gonna react to Leon reacting to something. I'm gonna... Yo, I love this like genre of channel though. Have you guys noticed this is like its own genre of channel? Like Leon Lush. And, well, I guess, I guess more like his Leon Life channel. And like, Cinnamon Toast Ken. And now like PewDiePie. It's like this genre of, uh, and, and, and Northern Lion. It's like this genre of like, dads doing like, react content and stuff. Uh, did not give me anything about those. I retract my statement and apologize for my outburst. It's okay. It's okay. They're like, they're, they're like... Deep into the internet enough to have, like, base takes, but not, like, so terminally online that they say the really stupid shit. Dusty, thank you for dollars. Can we just trim the bot, change the thumbnail, and stream name, and pretend this never happened? Nate Simple, thank you for the... Uh, oh, it's scrolled. It's scrolled. Hold on. Thank you for the $2. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Now I'm thinking for the $2. I shocked the dude survived that long after full four bullets. Bernada, thank you for two dollars. You want to live my favorite bunny VTuber? You can rot. What? It's intending with the five dollars. It'd be lovely if they actually followed the line innocent until proven guilty, but they never do. Also, that was just negligence, the highest degree. Hello, everyone. What an ah! No, not you. Hold on. Does he link the video? He does. Nice. On September. Here we go. Does Pippa know about the new Steinsgate criminal case in Japan? I, I do not. I do not. Yeah, I remember when I was younger, Mama Ken always used to say guilty until proven innocent. It's like... It's so true. It's so, it's so unfortunate, but it's so true. The what now? Mama Ken knows? Mama Ken knows. Wait, what? Wait, what are you guys talking about? November 18th, 2022. Police were called about a daughter refusing- She said what? She said guilty until proven innocent. Or in the Steins Gate case. Oh. Steins, Steins Gate case? I, I, I don't know what that is! I don't know what that is! ...to leave her father's car. Okay. This one again. What do you mean this one again? We haven't watched this. Why isn't she getting out? I don't know. She's got a lot of problems in life and can't seem to solve them, so I offer... She's just like me, for real, for real? The God, I'll think of the $20. Did you look at drunk Doyle Davidson preach to his church about how Lisa is it? What? Lisa is an S and you should have did her sister... What? What the fuck are you talking about? What? Dad, this is my dad, and I think he's... Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to what? To get out of the building? To come drive the car? <laughs> um, he just parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere, but it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere if he doesn't want to. I understand. Well, he already took me here, so I'm in the car. I'd, I'd like to, you know, go back to my house whenever he's ready, basically. So I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, but do you realize that if he doesn't want to take you, you, you have to get out because it's his car, it's his property? I don't think so. I think no, because it, I'm parked. I'm letting you know. But that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm what is what is what is she arguing? Because he drove her there, he has to now take her back. Bless you, thank you, Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, whenever he's ready, 
He doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? Oh, I do not. I think he might oh, be I having some sort of like this is... uh, like early dementia or something, but he is yeah. not yeah, acting like himself. This is what I'm talking about, Chad. This is, this, is, this is the funny shit. This is the funny shit. This bitch is insane. We're just gonna go to Starbucks, and then he said that he had to go and... This is what I'm talking about, the Starbucks! I think I saw, like... I don't know how much of this I saw. A little bit, a little bit. I didn't watch all of it. I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, well, he just got me a gift She's card. She's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it. And showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Gave her more money, gave her more things to do, took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car, and now she refused well, to I'm get just, out of it at all. I'm just that was so sweet. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, what they're, like... Okay, I'm giving him, like, the benefit of the doubt here. Okay. But, like, it's sweet that, like, he knew giving her money directly would be a mistake. So he went out of his way to get her gift cards. So she would still be able to feed herself. Like that's... Like that shows consideration. Like he's, he's trying... And now she's beautiful. Yeah, the fucking CC is broken. Um, he's, he's trying to, he's, he's trying to take care of her. So like I'm inclined to think that... He's not a bad so person, but at the same time, I don't know. The day we go out and run errands. We're just trying to run errands. <laughs> Um, she's escaped the rehab. No, she got kicked out of rehab. She was evicted from the apartment. Does she not ha So that's not where she lives anymore? I still but he still called the cops on her. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder like what actually led up to this. I live there. She is in the process of eviction. I don't think okay. they've got a final order for it yet. Okay. So she can still be but there. But she doesn't really want it either way. Um, where I live normally. <laughs> I'm not trying to live in this yeah. car, you know what I mean? So Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Correct, which right, right now, now you're breaking the law because it's not your car. So you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. I okay. go on Ubers with or... the permission of the person. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing mm, in no, his car. In... Okay, so. I do think it's kind of a waste of police resources, though, to do this. Right? Like, if she's not evicted from the apartment, it, if, she's, if she's allowed to be in the apartment, then she's going back to the same place anyways. Like, I, I get, like, trying to kick her out to teach her a lesson. But, like... Ultimately, she's going back to the same place anyways. You're just... If you're trying to teach her a lesson, I understand, but you're just wasting police resources on this. We can play this game, but you're gonna get arrested. I mean, that's literally how it's gonna be, or you could just step out of the car. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm trying to explain something to you, and you're not really willing to listen. Um, you explained it to me. He's not trying to keep her from the apartment, Pippa. That's... You know what? What you just said has nothing to do with what I just said. That's a true statement that you just said. And it does not change what I said at all. But I would like to shut my door now. I'm not doing that. It's not your door. It's not your car. Okay, I'll just ignore that one. Oh, it's not his house he's, she's evicted from. They don't live together? Just get out, Alex. You're making a show his out of this. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make a show out of it. It's just like, it's no, okay. You see the problem. I didn't want to touch her at this point. No, I understand. I mean, it's definitely your car and you want her out of the car. Can you run the She's evicted from the rehab center. She didn't get evicted. She got kicked out from the rehab center. But it sounded like... Okay, at the beginning. At the beginning, he talks about... She showed up at the apartment. So, she showed up at the apartment kind of implies that, like, he lives at the apartment. And now, he's talking about how he can't, like, like, he hasn't evicted her from the apartment. So, she can still go back to the apartment. But he's trying to get her out of the vehicle. They were in an apartment, Pippa? Picked her up at a gas station? This bad behavior, and um, it's my fault. I, I enabled one more time. There's two apartments. Oh my god, this is so fucking confusing. 
So it's not your car. If you want to out here, I'm trespassing. You gotta get out. Well, I think there's a misunderstanding. I think something's going on with my dad. I think she's refusing to leave the car. Yes, that is why the cops are here, because she is refusing to leave the car. You know what? I'm gonna play this back. I'm gonna play this back. I want to- I want to figure out. Do these two people live together? But he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to leave Hold her on. father's car. Okay. Why isn't she getting No! Out? Yes! I don't know. She's got a lot of problems in life. I can't seem to solve it, so I offered to give her a ride, and now... This is my dad, and I think he's, uh... I don't know exactly what's going on, but he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on... I don't understand what she means by this. I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. He's, he's standing right here. What the fuck is she talking about? What does she mean by this? Him to what? To get out of the building? To come drive the car? To get out of the building. He's standing right here. Are you dumb? Um, he just and then she laughs like it's obvious. She laughs like it's obvious. I I'm waiting for him to get out of the building so he can drive the car. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, whore. Parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere. But it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere. If She's a junkie. To... Fucking hate junkies. I understand. Well, he already took me here. So. Unless it's Jeff the heroin addict. I like Jeff the heroin addict. I don't like this bitch. And that's not misogyny, okay? Listen! She's a bitch! Jeff was based! The bass! She is the problem... Oh, fuck. Hold on. Um... Ah! She... This is the problem with these pips. We never have good info, and no one is paying enough attention to understand anything. You included... I'm trying to read chat and engage with chat and then read super chats! All right, I'm multitasking! I have an excuse to not be able to catch everything! You fuckers have no reason to not understand what's going on! I'm in the car. I'd, I'd like to, you know, go back to my house whenever... To her house. He's ready, basically. So I'm just sitting in the car. And okay, he's ready. Do you realize that if he does... So he is driving her to her house. doesn't want to take you. You, you have to get out because it's his car, it's his property. I don't think so. I think no, it's it, her. I'm letting you know. No. But that's how that works. No. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. <laughs> so... Whenever he's ready. But he doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? No, I do not. I think he might no, be I having some sort of like this is, uh, like early dementia or something, but he is yeah, not acting like himself. Uh, we were just going to go to Starbucks, and then he said that he had to go, and I can't remember if he said he needed to take a package somewhere. We're all scouting for 28. Don't usually super chat. These videos are giving me an aneurysm. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, okay. So to establish the timeline here, he picked her up to go get Starbucks. Apparently they did not get Starbucks, because there's no Starbucks in the thing. And then he changed his plans, saying he had to go pick up a package. So I'm guessing they got into a fight. Of some sort. She probably said something fucking stupid, because it seems like she's really good at that. And then he was like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. Let's just go home. She probably said something even more fucking stupid. She probably started whining about like the Starbucks or something. And then he was like, you know what? Fuck it. Just get out of the car. That's that's my assumption right now. She's lying, Pip. A couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, he, he well, he just got me a gift She's card. supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it. He's rambling about other shit that's not relevant. Old Iron Bond thing with Dolores. Has she been shot in the head? <laughs> Jack's she like it. Back at the so I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Gave her more money. Gave her more things to do. Took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car. And now she refuses well, to I'm get just... out of it at all. So yeah, they did go to Starbucks. And he tried. He tried to take her to Starbucks. He tried to take her to get food. Okay, maybe she said she wanted Starbucks instead of food, and that's why there's like a fast food cup here? So he was like, what do you want from here? And she's like, no, actually I want Starbucks. And he was like, well, I'm trying to get you real food, not Starbucks. Not that any, not that any fast food is really real food, but you guys know what I mean. Smoothie King is basically Starbucks. Is that what this is? 
American problem? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I trying to spend the, the day with I'm them. Sorry, or like, go out and run errands. We're just it's trying to run errands. <laughs> um, you said she was evicted from the apartment. Does she not ha So that's not where she lives anymore? I still live there. She is in the process of eviction. I don't think okay. they've got a final order for it yet. Okay. So she can still be but there. But she doesn't really want it either way. Way. Okay, so it was, it was like, um, okay, so like her apartment is rehab? Provided? So I'm guessing she lived in like a, like, like, like an off-site facility or something? And they're evicting her? Um, where I live normally. <laughs> I'm not trying to live in this car, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Correct. Which right no, then what the fuck are they saying? What are they talking about? She doesn't really want it either. Way. What? What? Um, you said she was evicted from the apartment. Does she not have? So that what fucking apartment? He 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 talked about her being evicted. That's not where she Wait, lives. Wait, what is the timeline? She still lives there. She is in the process of eviction. I don't think okay. they got a final order for it yet. Okay. So she can still be. It's funny because Chad is like, no, Pippa, you fucking idiot. But nobody has like a fucking reasonable answer. I I think with the two seventy nine, it's like she lost an argument with herself. Every time you ask, there's another apartment. She's a manipulator, Pippa. Let him keep going. Six magic thing, Dolores. Pippa, you're the best by far. I'm not on Twitch. What? Okay, thank you. Yeah, but I don't read this message. Um, where I live normally. <laughs> I'm not trying to live in this car. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Her Which trust me, right right I guarantee her drug of choice is coke car. and drug dealer business. So you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. Okay, Ubers with or... the permission of the person. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing. I take an Uber, so realistically, I should be allowed to get into any person's vehicle and ask them to take me somewhere. Mm, in no, his star- in- Okay, so... I didn't know what I was doing, The reason we don't have an answer- The reason we don't have an answer is because one is a compulsive liar and the other one is a babbling boomer. It's kind of true. Kind of true. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing. Mm, in his truck and okay so we Thank can, you, can I, I, for I mean that's literally how it's gonna be or you could just step out of the car like i'm not trying to be mean to you but i'm trying to explain something to you and you're not really willing to listen um you explained it to me but i would like to shut my door now i'm not doing that she's so dumb who likes helping him for those people she's a junkie she didn't want starbucks wanted to get drugs only daddy wouldn't leave her alone long enough to get them that checks out. 420 no scope, and you ever become a big baby? If I did that to a cop, dude would drag me out and beat my ass for even trying to talk back? True and real? It's not your door, it's not your car. Okay, I'll just ignore that one. It would've been, it would've been! So you're saying you're not going to comply? You're saying you're not complying then? You'd be like, am I being detained? And I'd be like, you know what? Yes, you are. You actually are being detained right now. Get out of the vehicle! And then they'd grab you, they'd grab you by your arm and they'd, they'd yank you out and you'd be like falling over and you'd be like, stop, stop, stop! Let me stand! Let me stand! I'll do it! Let me, let me stand! They'll be like, you had your chance to comply! Husky King named Dolores. Can I be your Discord kitten, Meowster? Meow, meow, meow? No? Hey, then, thank you for the. <laughs> what a transition. Hey, then, thank you for Dolores. The vocal cry from both the cop and junkie is annoying. JP, thank you for the $2 God, Why are American women so passive aggressive? I don't know, man. <laughs> don't say they come to pick me. <laughs> Thanks for all the amazing streams, Pippa! Big pee 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 pee! All the Z's on their anime friends, lol! Ah! Just get out, Alex. You're making a show His out of this. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make a show out of it. It's just like, it's frustrating. You see the problem? I didn't want to touch her at this point. No, I understand. I mean, it's definitely your call. I understand your daughter is a fucking bitch. Nate said something for 333. Basically, daddy cop. Calls cops on daughter to get out of the car. Daughter is narrow adjacent and got kicked out of rehab and is in legal process to get kicked out of her apartment. Uh, or out of her home. Daughter gets snooty with cop. Lulz are had. I was just trying to find out. What I was trying to understand, chat, is if she lives with him. I was trying to understand if she lives with him. If he is driving her back home and they share the same home. And she is in the process of getting evicted from the home. No? Okay. Uh, nah, thank you for dollars. I'm curious how corrupted police in America are since... Uh... 
Only a bit worse because police in my country are communism one, so brutality is pretty common. It honestly it depends on where you live. It really it really depends on where you live, how corrupt the police are. Uh some areas are extremely corrupt, and others are just like your chill neighborhood cops that show up to barbecues and generally are really great people and are chill. It just it just it just depends on where you live. Generally smaller towns are a more close knit community so there's more social accountability. So the cops aren't assholes. But then at the same on on, on the same hand, uh another problem with small towns is you'll get cops where it's been like a family business basically for so long that they basically control the entire fucking town. And if they don't like something, they'll chase it out. I've seen that one before. Like, a new business opens up and the cops are, like, constantly coming over, finding every reason to find them, to fucking park their police cars outside of their fucking shops and stuff, just to, just to chase them out of town, because they don't like them. Because probably uh, their cousin or whatever owns a competing shop or whatever. Or they just, or they just don't fucking like them. Car and you want her out of the parking lot? Legal mob shit, yeah. I shouldn't have agreed to do it. She's had long time since I was enabling this bad behavior. And um, it's my fault. I, okay. I enabled one more time. That's when you call the FBI. FBI doesn't care about small towns. Two, okay. five, two, well, I think there's a misunderstanding. I think something's going on with my dad because he's not acting like himself. No, he's acting pretty normal to no, me. I think he's acting like L he's negative on got a problem. I think he does have a problem. I think his problem is his bitch daughter that won't get out of his vehicle and keeps doing drugs. Register to Jackal. Maybe like he has early onset like dementia, Alzheimer's. Can we talk about that? No, no. You guys are right here. I'm fine. I'm not stepping out. Um, and I feel like usually why, you ask why, people not to step out of the car. Why, what? Why won't you get out? Why don't you want to get out? Um, usually you ask people not to get out of the car. How many times have you been pulled over? How many? She's speaking like she has a lot of experience. Well, let's see, they have some country cops are also just bored, especially late at night, and will look for reasons, especially in their holidays. It's on She's a junkie? She got kicked out of rehab! What the fuck do you think? Uh, but, but you understand that you're probably going to end up going to jail then, right? You do know that usually, like, if you pulled me over on a highway, we'd both have to pull, pull over, park together. We're not doing and that. And I would not be allowed out of my vehicle. You'd say, roll down the window and please present your papers to me. That's what you would say. And I would but I may sometimes I just ask a lot of people out. They both have nice nails. The car, too. Okay, well, this isn't... Like, but your dad wants you out of the this car. This doesn't feel like um, a very real situation. Like, and it doesn't... What does that mean? What? This doesn't... This doesn't feel like a real situation? What do you mean it doesn't feel like a real situation? What the fuck are you blabbering about? What? It doesn't feel like we're bothering anyone. So do you want to press charges for trespassing? She's dreaming. Okay. Nothing I mean, is real. You can't just press charges like that. You can't. You, can't. <laughs> you can't just like... Press charges like that. The shit she says is just so bizarre. I, I don't know how to respond to it. What do you mean you can't just press charges like that? Yes, yes, you fucking can. You're sitting in somebody's vehicle after they told you to leave. It's not your vehicle. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean you can't just press charges like that? Why do you think people can press charges? What can somebody press charges for in your fucking mind? What are you talking about? You can't. So do you want to get out of the car or not? Yeah, James Jameson, he has really onset dementia. Like, bro, really? Yeah, I think you have fucking early onset dementia. Holy fuck, man. Um, you, don't you guys have anything better to do today? We actually... Like enforcing the law? Don't you guys have anything better to do than enforce the law? Don't, don't you have some, like, hate crimes to go commit? Fuck you, pigs. Get out of here. Do. Yeah, like, so I don't so know what really like you guys are doing. Why don't you drive your cars? I don't want to take we a ride to the jail. I would, I would love to. I would hate that. I, you know what? Cook. I love riding around places. I love going on errands. I love driving.
Is she high? Unironically, is she high? All right, I think with this 699, she's literally creating the situation where she loses. People like this are averse to happiness and self-reflection. Real? Very real? Musky King, then you were the $2? Love all of it. This is going to be one of those situations on... When you think the father's enjoying this? No! No, I think the father is probably fucking heartbroken at what a miserable fucking shitbag narcissist his daughter has turned into. Or become, or always has been. I don't know, she might have come out of the fucking womb a rotten egg. Jesus Christ, I think he's humiliated. He's probably humiliated. He's standing outside his car. Presumably, this is where he lives. This is the town he lives in. Cops surrounding his vehicle. His daughter is making a scene in public. I bet he's fucking humiliated. Yeah, I bet he's embarrassed. My parents would probably beat my fucking ass and then never talk to me again if I pulled some shit like this. When you go down to the jail, people are like, what are you in for? And you say, because I wouldn't get out of the car. People are going to be like, that's a stupid reason to go to jail. I mean, really, there's really not a really good reason to go to jail, but that's really stupid. Yeah, uh, listen, listen, there's not a good reason to go to jail. But I didn't want to get out of my father's car after he told me to stop being a drug addict. That's a pretty fucking stupid reason. If we're talking about stupid reasons, that's going in S tier. Daniel Sarah, thank you She reminds me of the girl that ran over the two people. She does. Oh my god, same vibes. Oh my god, it's the same. It's the same type of person. It's more stupid of you guys because it's just a lot of paper and a lot of trouble. Be, but we, we're, we're public servants. We've been called here. Yo, no new tier list. We've been seven here, so we're here to solve a problem. Unfortunately, do you have a payroll? The problem is. Do you have a payroll? What the fuck? Video is badly cropped? What do you mean it's badly cropped? You guys, you guys see everything that I can see, except for like a little tiny bit. There's like a little, there. Is that what you're talking about? Little tiny bit? Little tiny bit? It wasn't even fucking obscuring anything. Oh, I'm gonna be, this whole situation is giving me a headache. How can this dude be so dense? I don't know, you're man. In the car. To solve the problem, I don't think it, there's not a solution. You there can, isn't a solution. The, the solution is that you step out, either stand over here, you could sit, there's a bench over here, there's a bench there, there's a bench over out. there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and stand out of the car. <laughs> no, I stepped out, it's fine. Please allow me to. No, you're not closing. I hope they tase her. I, I hope they, I hope they use. Quote unquote unnecessary force on her. Uh, not, not, not because they should, but because it'd be fucking hilarious. I don't want to shut it on you. I don't want to, like. Do? I can promise you you're not going to shut it on Please stop touching you. this car because it's not your car. It's not your. I'm sorry. Why are we in this situation? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was the entire. Cause of this situation? Did it not have to do with this not being your car either? She's fucking insane, chat. She's taser, 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 taser. Well, that's okay. Alright, we're gonna end up. No, end up you are. Grab her. Stop. Step on out. I'm just gonna pull you out. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna come out of the car. So, do we have to make this harder? I don't. I swear to fucking god, if she says something like, I can't breathe, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Don't pull my arm out of its socket. Don't touch me. Just hold, hold she better the fucking not. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me. Please. Okay, I didn't expect that one. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, that went in a different direction. What's gonna end up happening is... What's gonna end up happening is forcing. I would like to Don't press charges for assault. And this what? Assault charge. I just was assaulted. It was. Battery. What? How is she this time? I don't know. I don't know. She lives on her own fucking planet, Jeff. What the fuck is going on? Don't molest me. I would like to file charges for battery. Oh my god. Cody Katana then come be. Her end goal is to shut the door and then proceed to live the rest of her life in it. Mm. So, I want to press charges for the battery. Okay, you don't get that. 
It's lawful. I want to press charges. It's a lawful. I would like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. Great. Get out of the car. But I want you to press charges against yourself for assault. Try something for dollars. You're not my supervisor. Speech check failed. It's nap one after nap one. She just keeps failing and she keeps trying. No, here I'm being held against the wall. Please leave. No. So these are the options. You can get out of the car. You can leave on your own accord. You can walk away, or you're going to end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like I don't. I don't know. She's actually dumb. She's... She, she's actually dumb. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Look, you think we're always a joke definitely altered her critical thinking and the people has more brain cells. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> How much you wanna bet? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> hold on. I, I predicted wrongly last time. Oh, uh, the end of goop. I think we're coming from goopy. How much, how much, how much do you want to bet that the next thing she's going to say is, why are you arresting me? Is that thing in front of dollars? Pippa, this is literally 1984. Sergeant Frost, by the way, cocaine is a hell of a drug. I just, I just know. I just know. They're going to go to arrest her. And she's going to be like, why are you arresting me? I was complying. After saying, get a judge or something. Not those see thing dollars. This woman grew up spoiled calling it. Gonna buy them for Lawrence. This is an unholy chimera of a chunk <laughs> it comes a carrot. <laughs> what else to tell you? Oh my god, background noise here to Lawrence. The end result of never being told no. Get a judge and a jury and take me to trial. Like I don't really understand. So mail me some papers. I mean I Do you know do you know how they're gonna do that? Jason thing for the she clearly never got hit as a child and it shows you can just skip to the part where she screams rape and dragged into a cop car. I also love you. <laughs> Incentive thing or $10 is what happens when kids watch too much of Son and Bosch and start doing drugs. True. Just rising, come baby. The longer she stalls, the worse it gets. My brain hurts. Uh, Lord Alzor thing, come baby. I'm waiting for I want my mom when they start arresting her. Uh, Jumbo Kwai thing, come baby. Not thing or Dolores, I hope she's yelling police brutality. Anything for the Lord. She doesn't understand that her dad it's her dad's car, not her car, even though that man is her dad birth relationship. I don't know. What, like what you like uh whatever the charges are, like let me know. Well, right now, are you gonna give me a ticket? Why don't you just surprise. give me a ticket? Well, for what? You didn't tell them dollars. junkie plus spoiled, lethal dose of fuckery? What the fuck is she talking about? Evil magic there in Dolores. So do you think I can go to class on Tuesday? Could be, yeah, but you have to get out of the car. That's the problem. So the main Or a verbal warning? Be like, hey, please don't sit in people's cars so, again if they don't want you in them. So that I just How does she come up with this with with more and more stupid shit to say? Like if I if I just left this unpaused, it would just be rapid fire non-sensory. Uh, non 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 nonsensical bullshittery. Like it is What? We've tried that. We're trying to get you out. No, you didn't. Yeah, but anyway. Fine. No, you didn't. Didn't you just scream that they tried to molest you? Um so, my dad issue. is obviously like demented and he's got like an issue that I can't diagnose, right? Um I'm I don't know what to do because he's getting older. Really? Is it wrong to say I hope she gets hit by a car? Welcome, Langley, until the woman has room temperature IQ. Uh. 
she will cry thing on front door. She gets a ticket for being annoying. She does. She she needs a fucking ticket for being annoying. Thank you for the first time super chat, by the way. Oh yes, my in God. fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So. You were in rehab. You're his caretaker. You were in rehab. What? Go on tithing with the two lords. I'm not a bootlicker, but oh my god, can they just taste her, please? One talking thing for twenty dollars is better. This is better evading than corporate directors. Arc lighting ten dollars. One brain plus drugs. This is just fucking baffling. Is caretaker? Yes, I am. To do because he's scared? getting older. Yes, in fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So... You're his caretaker? Yes, I am. You're a drug addict. He's giving you gift cards. So you buy food. And not crack. But you're his caretaker? Okay. Fine. And you know what? And how do you care for him? Um, I take care of him. Wow. How do you- how do you take care of him? Um, I take care of him. Yes, and? Um, I take care of him. You work? Yes, okay. I do. Oh, she got really defensive. <laughs> she got- she got- she got really defensive when he said that! Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on! Um, I take care of him. You work? Yes, I do. Look at how fucking pissed off she got! That's the most offensive thing he said to her all fucking day! The molestation! Now that elicits a more tame response. Accusing her of potentially not working indirectly by asking her if she does work as if it is not obvious that she does so clearly have a job. How fucking dare you? The audacity! Uh, Dr. Shenanigans, thank you for this is not a car, this is our car, now stop molesting me, because I need him to drive me home so I can take care of him. Yeah. What do you mean you're his caretaker? He's driving you, you need him to drive you home. Spoiler warning, but with caretakers, usually they do the driving? That's kind of like, one of the most basic things, one of the most basic parts of being a caretaker? And Coda thing, Dolores, next she'll say she's actually an FBI agent. She might. Ew. I, I work a lot. I do things. <laughs> yes, I do. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let this play out. Oh. Um, I take care of him. You work? Yes, I do. I, I work a lot. I do things. It doesn't matter. What do you do? I don't know, Chet. She's kind of growing on me. You hit, a, you hit a point of stupid where it's like, uh, you're like a really fucking brain damaged cat. <laughs> a really brain damaged dog. I just kind of want to like put you in a box and shake you up a little bit and see how riled up you get. Boomerang Dolores, I do things like drugs. <laughs> Man, think about Dolores. Her father is mine right now. You can pay child support for was a mistake. What? Uh, not Mr. G. Think Dolores. She does things, you know, like coke. But I think with Dolores, Pippa, do you do things? Uh, yeah. I I do I did things. You sound a lot like my brother used to sound before do? he burned my mom's house down. What do you do? Oh, okay, that escalated. What do you do? Um, I don't know. I think he's actually doing his job right now. It's funny you ask. Ew. You just like police stuff? What is that? Like, what is policing? I stand by what I said. I just want to put her in a box and shake her up and see how riled up she gets. She's gonna start accusing the box of being like... I don't know. I don't know, like a flat earth. She'll be like, ah! This, this contraption! This box! It's my whole world is shaking! She has no object permanence. She doesn't realize. She doesn't- she doesn't know. She interprets flat earth as in like four flat surfaces, closing her in. 
She's dumb enough, chat. She's dumb enough. I think if I did it, I think if I did it, she'd actually believe it. That is literally my job. I'm a, a, a supervisor. And a and here's job. Here's the issue. Your father is wanting you out of the car. He's willing to press charges. Therefore, you're going to end up going with us because you're refusing to get out of the car. We, I literally... Look at her fucking face. Look at her, look at her roll her fucking eyes, Plato Cave. I cannot be nicer to you. It's like... It's like... <sighs> what if we were in the doorway at my house, and like, yeah, you were scenario. holding it... You'd be at your house. Which is your domicile. Which is your property. You're in... Somebody's car. Which is not... Your house, not your domicile, not your property. Like, what, what? Different scenario, different rules, different times, different things. Okay, this isn't your car. Is that your? Is she trying to act cute? What the fuck is she doing? Get your fucking finger out of your mouth. What are you, a toddler? Straight. What? What? What are you doing? What? What? Are, what is? What the fuck is she doing? I can kill her anger, Dolores. Now I understand why she was kicked out of rehab. Yeah, I think I understand. She thinks the cop is cute. It's part of the city. Right? Is that your pavement? It's the city's. You're in somebody's car, you fucking moron. Or you, is just that your stone? It's the city's. Okay, so the city. Why okay, don't in the break. Who runs the city? Who's like who owns the pavement? I want to talk to whoever owns the road. The taxpayers, comrade. I don't know. I think you would have to try to get in contact with them or something. I don't, I don't know. Talk to the bank that like rents out that pavement. I don't know what to What? What? What is what what does that mean? What? Let me start thing with Lord Spoiled Brad 2.0, you cannot fix her? Talk to the bank that rents out the pavement? Dude, her brain is fried. Switch the channeling with Dolores. She's very uggo inside and out. Yeah. I... Uh, I hate her so fucking much. I hate her so fucking much, too. I... I... Sorry. <laughs> Call someone. But... It'd be really cool if you would just let me shut the door. It'd be really cool if you just did not do your job. I do my job. I have a job. I have lots of jobs. I do things. I work. I don't- I don't get gift cards from my father to pay for my food because I'd spend all my money on drugs and that's why I can't hold a job is because I spend all my money on drugs and I don't show up to work because I'm a fucking junkie. I do things. I'm just caretaker. Alright, I think we're the 279. She looks both 17 and 37, but I guess that's the drugs. Uh, certain chaotic being named Dolores. Just drag her out of the car. Yeah, just drag her out. dying in a hot car, okay? God, I wish you were. she humming? What the fuck? Uh, stars, I think, from the Yeah, not me. She looks like she belongs in an episode of Houses, Houses as a Tourist. Genki? Jeez, I don't think where the fuck is. Why is she trying to rationalize with her at this point? Just pavement harass? Jesus fucking crap. Just fucking throw her on the pavement, man. She's so dumb. First of all, thing from the Yeah, another professional blight on society. These people literally deserve nothing, not even the respect the officer shows them. Am I called? No, what are you going by? Do you like to be called Alex? Alex, 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 Alex? I don't like to be called at all. You know what? Oh, I don't like to be called at all. <laughs> okay, what what is your name? Oh your my god. Why do you need to know that? Alright, right, ask Andrea. Oh my fucking god. I'm again gonna politely ask you to get out of the car. I would tell you my name if I wanted to. Things are going to go not your way in a minute. I don't have them. And I would prefer I them not go them. down that way. That's the name thing the dollars. Her IQ is on the clock. James Spinner, thank you for the the zoomerest of zoomers ever live. Our era, they were in 279. The humming is for CPU working on overdrive. Six magic game dealers watching these for years, but it never gets any easier. They're gonna get worse. Because what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna get take, forcefully taken out of the car, and I don't want to do that. The Highland Jungle thing, dealers. This person to, votes. I don't want us to get it hurt, and I don't want you to get hurt. So I really would like you to get out of the car. This person, this per to quote Asmongold, this person's vote matters just as much as yours does. Nothing for Dolores. To be honest, if I ever have kids, I don't want my kid to be like this. It's bad. Also, I gotta go. A bit late. Wish I could stay longer. Take care, Tipo. Well, thank you. I hope you have a nice night. Sleep well. So that we don't have to force you to get out of the car, or that force doesn't have to be used. Defiance. 
What? She's on autopilot. She's on- she's, she's gotta be like on autopilot or something. Like, she's not processing what they're saying. She's just like spitting out answers. That's your choice? Defiance. So you understand the risk that you're taking. She thinks this, she's right? a fucking protagonist right now. She's the main character in the novel. And then the cops looked at me and they said, you have a choice right now. And I looked back at them and I said, defiance. And they turned to me and they said, that's your choice? And I said, defiance. Yes. And then I went and sucked off a drug dealer for some extra coke. Um, you're insulting me. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> just rising from my noise. The fact that she stalled this long is impressive because normally it would have been just like five minutes in. No, I'm not going to lie. Put your hands behind your back. No. You're under arrest. No. You're be no. Under arrest. Arrest. You I'm under cardiac arrest. I'm under cardiac arrest. What? No. What? Yes, Wait, what? For trespassing and resistance. You can't do that. We can. Yeah. No, you're not going to. Uh, what you're are they doing right to. now, sweetheart? Stop. 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 You're not going to. What are they doing then, bitch? What are they doing? I wish we didn't have to. Stop. I wish we didn't have to. Stop. We Stop. tried to work it out with you. Stop. Stop. For whatever reason you decided Stop. to. Stop. Stop policing me. Bye, Alex. I like to imagine... Never mind, never mind. I'm sorry that this is the way that it had to go. This is not the law. This isn't lawful. Right. I'm not resisting. No, stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. Go on. Okay, okay. I, I, just, I like to imagine that this is like where the bitchy girls in school like ended up. This is like the same fucking personality, man. Rich Jam, I think, were the 125 Bogalogs. These class of 09 dialogue options are funny and all, but over the top and unrealistic. Wait, this is real life! He's in reading for those Malco Posse people let me write this dopamine it. I'm sorry! There's just so much to talk about! I have to search. You're you. molesting Stop. me. You're sexually assaulting me. Stop. You are sexually Stop. assaulting me. He's touching no, your arm! Yes, no, she she is. is. Dad, help me! I am not helping you. Please help me! I'm not helping Please you! Please help me! Stop. Get off me! Stop! Oh my god! Stop. Stop. Oh, she just Stop. kicked at them. Now you're getting a felony. You have violated the Get law. Get off me! Stop. Stop! You have violated the law! All of your goods are now forfeits! Stop touching me! Stop resisting! Stop touching me! Stop resisting! Stop touching me! <laughs> He's mentally ill! I think that applies to you, actually. Oh, my arm! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to have to help you. It's not hard to imagine the just face palming during her arraignment. I got it, Tark. Oh my god. Get off me! Stop touching me! Close the door. They don't have to put the seatbelt on? Why do they always struggle to put the fucking seatbelt on then? If they don't have to do it! She just said, fuck it! I can't do it! I can just do that? I'm so sorry. Kick you too? Yes. Alright. So we're gonna have to charge the resistance. Wait, did he say kick or bit? Indian Island, I think, and Lars. I'll give her some credit. She chose defiance and stuck to it. Unfortunately, it turned a felon- a warning into a felony. Yep. Listen, if you try to hurt us again, you're gonna either end up being tased. Me hurt you? You guys were hurting me. Bro, well, she just doesn't. She, she, stuff happens? But it, like, it doesn't happen in her brain. Does that make sense? Like, everything that just happened? It's like she's, like, 100% like, like, turned off now. She's like, eh. Hurting you? You guys were hurting me. What are you talking about? That thing that just happened like a couple minutes ago? Yeah? You were- you were hurting me. It's like... Are you... Are you... Experiencing reality? Right now? Zero brain activity? Yeah, zero brain activity. Goldfish brain, yeah. 
Okay. You, you, kicked, guys, you, you guys actually her. assaulted me. You drugs do that. Yeah. You grabbed me and then she touched so my breast for no reason. What? So I don't really so, know. You know. So if you touched breath. me inappropriately as well on my skin, take you know that you don't need breath. to contact me like that. I was in handcuffs already. Have you, have you never been pat down for weapons before? Because I find that kind of hard to believe if you've been, if you've been pulled over. I'm, I'm, I'm just speculating, I'm just speculating she's gotten pulled over quite often. Or stopped quite often. Judging by, judging by how she acted earlier. You know what I'm my hands were behind my back. You know, hands? you shouldn't have searched me like that and I, I should have had a search you. privately, first of all. So she knows it's a search. Frostbit then go McVee. You should have this not been out time. here, not with her and doing it. Here's Second. And what? You're embarrassing me in public. Open the door. You're actually. I kind think of you're doing liable. that. I say I'm not liable. What? We're yourself. going to open the door. What the fuck are you going on about? The fuck did she just say? She said it's libel. They're embarrassing her in public. And it's libel. Birthday freak, Dingerton Dollars. This took place in Winter Park, a swanky upper class neighborhood in Orlando. She was definitely doing dope in a mansion off the lake. Do not open the door. Yeah, do not open the door. It's libel. Well then, libel is written. Well, this is libelous because it will be written about in the newspaper. Blight writing can be beat. Imagine living with these people IRL. I want to know why her brain defaulted to libel. It sure sounds lush. Like, that must have been it, right? Like, w why did she not say slander? Like, most people know the word slander over libel. So... What? I switched to the channel thing for the $5. She's obviously partially college-educated, parroting whatever she learned in college. Um... I don't know about that. I don't think so. I feel bad for the father who probably paid for it. I, I, I don't think she went to college. I'm... I'm... I, I don't think she went to college. Okay, you're gonna get put back in handcuffs. If you fight us... Do you have a... Like liability policy? Like, do you guys have like some sort of a? Uh... Why are you doing that shit with your fucking hands? Just like sit there and talk like a normal person. What are you doing? I like commercial health insurance. Do not fight us, okay? What? You guys have a liability policy, like commercial health insurance? What the fuck is she talking about, Chat? What the fuck is she going on about? What does this mean? Yes, actually, they do! With the banks that rent out the pavement! What are you so scared of? I don't want to get back by you. I want them! Why don't I? I'm talking, they can find the cars. Ha ha the car is gone! Daddy ran! Stop it! I think I would run as well. Floyd Shelving and Dolores never said she went to college for anything useful. Stop this is a feminist dance theory, uh, degree, live, in action. See, you think I'm fun, Lord. Dude man says hi from Spartan. He wants to donate more mining. Now you're nice. I don't want to. No, what are you doing now? No, same thing you were doing before. Just going back and doing this. You're under arrest. Oh, Miranda writes. Miranda writes. No. Nope. If you were this, you are resisting. I'm resisting. Yes, you are. So stop. What the fuck is she talking about? Did she just say Miranda writes? What about them? Let me think of Lars. Yo, VOD watcher saw your statue rent. You're 100 percent right. I live in a small town in Canada. Top theft problem is overpriced lawn ornaments being stolen. See, I'm on to something. You've already got battery on LEO. Stop. <laughs> Did she just say that they're being arrested? See, that's what I thought! That's what I thought, Macho! I was like, did she- But it, like, it must have been one of the officers, right? Because there's no way, like, that came out of her mouth. It's just, like... Right? Leo? Yes. Yeah. On an August birthday? <laughs> on a Leo? What? No, no, no. Get Get off me. No, okay, Leo. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck is she going on about? She's talking about astrology now. Miranda writes. Miranda writes. No. If you were this, you are resisting. I'm resisting. Yes, you are. So stop. You've already got battery on LEO. Stop. On a Leo? Yes. On an August birthday? <laughs> on a Leo? What? No, no, no. Get 
Get off me. Well, if you fucking wrote out this dialogue, I would not believe it's real. <laughs> if you wrote out this fucking dialogue, I just- I would not fucking believe you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck is she going on about? Hold on, hold on. I need the play-by-play. -play. I'm sorry I spent so fucking long on every single second of this shit. But what the hell is coming out of her mouth right now? So, on a Leo? No, hold on, a little bit further back. Miranda writes no. no. If Miranda resist, writes no. If you resist, you are resisting. I'm resisting. Yeah. You're resisting. I'm resisting. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So stop. So stop. You already got battery on Leo. You already got battery on Leo. Stop. No. On a Leo? On a Leo? Yes. On a yes. August birthday? On a Leo? On an August birthday? <laughs> on a Leo? What? On a Leo? No, no, no. Get no, no, no. Get off me. Get off me. What the fuck is she fucking saying, chat? It doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't- <laughs> This dialogue! This dialogue is so poorly written, I cannot believe this shit! Leo, like the star, yes, like the star sign. Like the star sign. I don't want to be handcuffed. I don't want to. On an August birthday? Tied down. Stop it. Nobody does want that. I don't want to be tied down. She says that she's being handcuffed, not tied down. You're constricting me. Yes, you are being. Breathe. You're there it is. Uh, all right, all right, thank you for the 699. The crazy thing is that those zodiac signs were created for self-reflection on your personality, but she just uses it as justification. You're constricting me. You're not doing anything. You're, really You're hurting me. Oh. You are physically hurting me right now. My chest hurts, my head hurts, my hands hurt, my wrist hurts. I know it hurts. And my shoulder blades, and my shoulders. And oh my god. Paganini, thank you for the you said this would be laceration dosing. My back. Which is where all my organs are, by the way, so thank you. All my organs! My back, by the way! My back is hurting, which is where all my organs are, by the way! I'm a- I'm a fucking camel! I've got all my organs in my back! Glee- Glee all- Tell you something, the Dolores. If I was a cop, I'd burst out laughing. I don't know how they're not laughing. I, the shit that's coming out of her mouth right now makes no fucking sense. You were just cooperating. They're killing her! not cooperating. You are not cooperative. We are not a- What? Co-op. We are, we are not- we are not co-op. A co-op. We are not a co-op. We are not a corporation. We are not a co-op. She's on drugs. <laughs> We're not a corporation. We are not a co-op. I don't... What? I don't think that's what co-op stands for. You're not a cop. Although, to be fair, Leo doesn't stand for the star sign, and there was some other crazy shit she said, but... Uh, You're a robber. You're stealing me. What? You're kidnapping me. Okay. You're abducting me. Oh. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop! It's no. No. Stop doing it! Henry, thank you for the $5. Typical <laughs> stupid behavior. Sit back. You just sit down. None of this is happening. Yeah. Biting them. What the fuck? Last thing with the assault on a Leo is a serious crime. It's almost bad as assault on a Sagittarius. Oh man. Herbert, get me Can out of here! Down? Get me out of here! On? Get me out! Let me out! It's not happening, so. Open the door! Open the door! Is it extreme to say that I think people like this should just be put down? A lobotomized. Intermelting movie, the actual Dunning Kruger effect. Like I just I like if she's if she's sober right now, her brain is just so fucking far gone. She's just such a vicious person. Like how do you how do you fix something like this? Unironically, I okay. Like saying I think she should she should be killed is kind of extreme. But like uh, like genuinely asking, how do you fucking fix? somebody like this what do you do with them what benefit can they possibly provide society other than like manual labor miguel mendez and for so when is her face connect debut pippa 
Uh, TDX thing with Funzo, you're stealing my silver chat, Peppa! Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Thank you. Bring back asylums. She's not gonna be useful in an as asylum. Institutionalized. Again, not useful. Buff about thing with Dolores. Florida, it all makes sense now. Our thousand thing, I'm gonna be scientific experimental subject. Identification thing for Dolores as a Leo, I sat in solidarity with her. Like, fight the power. <laughs> Omega thing for Dolores, people like her shouldn't be allowed to breed. Nick Lags thing with Dolores, how can this be happening? Mercury's in retrograde! Favorite haunt thing with Dolores, you can't fix the unrepentant. I just, I just... I just genuinely don't understand what the purpose of somebody like this is. In terms of existing. Like, maybe that's a, maybe that's like a, like a, like a pessimistic thing to say, or like I'm devaluing human life, or whatever. But genuinely, what do you provide for either, like, you can't provide for yourself. You can't provide for society. You're not, like, at least with like, like, if somebody's in a fucking coma, and they're a vegetable, right? Like, they're expending resources, but people, like, still care about them, and there's still, like, the chance that they'll wake up or whatever, right? So I can understand not pulling the plug. But this bitch organ donor? Yeah, she would make a phenomenal organ donor. Actually, no, she wouldn't. Her body's been fucked up by drugs. Um, I don't bother with her. She said everything short of claiming to be a sovereign citizen. At what point does she think they'll let her go? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't think she thinks, to be honest. Arclight Dington Dolores, please expound further on the cool England. <laughs> no! My friend thing with the tits and fun her crocodiles is why I believe in the Matrix. Her AI speech module is bugged. Binary eclipsing for Dolores, her brain all hurting. I, I just genuinely don't... Like, what, what can somebody like this do? Awful personality. No future prospects. Just, just scum. Like, just, just fucking lock her away. Lock her away. There's literally nothing she can do with her life that would be a benefit to literally anybody. Not even herself. I can't even be like, well, she's living her best life, because she's fucking not. Six magic thing with Dolores, since she and astrology is stupid, purge all Leos. Uh, did my gaming thing with Dolores? Pippa, what does co-op mean? Cooperative? Open it! Can I go? Am I wrong? Does co-op not mean cooperative? Yeah, like co-op multiplayer. Cooperative multiplayer. It's usually, it's usually like couch co-op. Window! It does. Bring me to the hospital right now. I can't I'm breathe. Going. I'm too hot. I can't breathe. Oh my god, she's just like the FBI agent. I'm gonna have a seizure. I just turned the AC I'm up for you, okay? You gotta give it a second. I just turned off the AC. You'll be able to get some air in a couple seconds, okay? Oh my god. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have an aneurysm. I don't know what that means. Hospital. Take me to the ER. Oh my god. To the ED. Take me for medical clearance. What? You don't get medical clearance at the jail. No, they don't medically clear you. Oh, they do. No, they don't. Absolutely. No, they do not. They do an intake form. That's not the same. I need a physical exam. Who's the alleged what person in this jurisdiction? Fuck? Take me to them. I don't even know the Yeah, I'd need a drink, too. You are. You're kidnapping me. Who is the authorized personnel? I don't know who you are, you're kidnapping me? Certain thing with two dollars, she could be used as a testing animal for makeup. She could. Give me a ride. Give me a ride? Give me a ride home? Oh, now you don't- now you do want to be in the vehicle. Turn the car around. Terse! Terse? Hot dog abuser thing for the dollars, she could be a prime test subject for studying IRL ragdoll physics, which would never not be hilarious. Reverse! Reverse! <sighs> it's amazing something worth like you nailed it, Pippa. She's prime material for the FBI or TSA. Oh, it just ends there! No! I wanna see her! I wanna- Oh my god! I wanna see her, like, actually walking around! Being- 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 Oh no! No! Ah, oh, part two? I wish there was a part two. Left vid, bossing a cop around, backfires dramatically, cops unlimited patience, runs out when she does this. 
so many of these. I wait, hold on, hold on. Is there a sequel? Oh, quarter past midnight. Never mind. No, no we're not looking for a sequel. I'll just end the stream. Jesus Christ, the time flew by. Holy fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> God damn. Oh, the time flew by, chat. Isaac, thank you for Why aren't police allowed to use tranquilizers on people like this? I see no reason not to. It's not like their body isn't used to all the drugs. <laughs> Fucking true. You did tangent a lot. I don't think I tangented a lot. I think I, I, th I think I talked about the clips a lot because there's a lot of batshit insane stuff happening. Uh, how long is the super chat list? Not a glowy thing, come big BB. I love these streams. I love them too. I don't wanna. I don't wanna overdo them. Because they're just so fucking addicting, man. They're so fucking addicting. I could do- I could do these streams, like, every day. Longer than normal. I'm gonna hold off on the super chat list for tonight. Dragon Dawn's in front door. She seems like people we call wet brain who do drugs, drink, and quit and are just permanently fried. Uh, Jason Reed, thank you are awesome, Peppa. Love the stream. And I think I'm gonna Good night, Peppa. Alright, see the supers in four months. When have we heard that before? Listen, I do eventually get to them. It's just that they take a while, alright? They just, they just... There's a bit of a delay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, Puddin's doing her anniversary. I think she's graduating soon, right? Tomiko Kana also graduated. This is the thing for Dolores. I enjoy your tannins, though. That's what makes it fun to watch. Thank you. Um... Supas will be finished the same time that you sex and GTA 5 are finished. Why are you tilted? Because I'm just so salty! A bit of a delay. Well, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Alright, I'm rating. Thank you guys so much for stopping by all that Kana. I know, man. She's a, she's a fucking OG. The VTuber community. I used to... I remember... I remember when Kana debuted. I watched Kana's debut chat. I remember when she got ads. She had she had ads running and stuff, and her channel hit like thirty thousand subscribers. And then YouTube nuked her channel. I'm not killing them, baby. Ten and James are the best. Ah! This is the olden days. The olden days chat. Hmm. All right. All two grins. Come on.